Ooh, welcome back to twitch.tv slash CEO Gaming. I can hear the audio pump through the arena. Tyrant, my boy, how you doing, fam? Oh, I am ready for this. Dragon Ball Fighters top eight. Who's ready? That's what I'm talking about. Let me Come hear Come on, it. let's go. Woo. You already know we got heavy hitters in the building. I don't even want to spoil the bracket, but it's looking lethal. No 21. We good on that, too. <laughs> Everyone's that. having fun. We're going to be happy. Exactly. It's all good. We at the beach. We're going to have good times. Yep, absolutely. We've got an absolutely stacked, as you said, we're in stacked top eight. You know, eight of the finest players out there right now. Going to be doing some absolute work. And to introduce those Warriors, we got my man Jake Ryan in the ring. So let's throw over to him right now. Take it away, Jake. Are you excited for some Dragon Ball Fighters? One more time, I need to hear you across the world. Are you excited for some Dragon Ball Fighters? No lab That's code. what I like to hear. That's right, that's right. <laughs> and you know what? We've had one fantastic bracket so far. Warriors have fallen, but Warriors have risen to the occasion. And you know, some of the best players in the world have already fallen. But these are not our fallen warriors that we have coming up. I know you guys know him. We've all subbed to him. Give it up for real, for real, for Hook Gang Guy! Nice. nice. <laughs> this guy got the Mickey Mouse. Oh, he got the Dominican flag too. He found one. Oh, man. Hook with the Mickey. Yes, he do. Mr. Michael Mouse co-signed by Hooking God himself. Absolutely. He's ready for some party games today, bro. <laughs> Damn, Mario Party all day. Yes. Hook and God. I want to see you guys say the full first name on the government. No nicknames here. You haven't earned that respect yet. He said, you better, oh. you better open up these ropes. You know who I am? You sit on the rope, Jake. What are you doing? <laughs> Jake, you never Jake, watched wrestling before, bro? No, no etiquette, man. Come on, Jake. You got to sit on the road. That's the champ right there. That's my era of Dragon Ball Fighters. I want to see Hook whoop everybody's ass. That's right. Hook gang God. You know, he's been doing things out here season one onwards. Uh, took a little bit of a break. A little step, uh, you know, a little step away from the game uh, almost in season two. But he is back in full force, man. Rocking that Piccolo squad. And with no lab coat, my man is ready to game. Most dead, most dead. Man, my man is sure ready to gang. Not even game. He's ready to gang. Hook Gang God, obviously one of the best players in the world from the beginning of the game to, you know, one of the final seasons. We're getting there. But Hook Gang God has been a staple since then. And if we're talking about a staple in the fighting game community, KOF legend, Dragon Ball legend as well. I think you've heard of him before. Some people call him the Wonder Kid. But now he's the Wonder Man. Give it up for Wawa! Oh, he's coming out to the Budokai. Yo, oh, come on. The lineage, the legacy. You love to see it. Wawa, of course, you know, this guy, just such a threat. Whatever he plays, whatever he decides to, to plug the stick into, doesn't matter. He's going to do work. Some of the best execution you will see in the world. Wawa. King of random select, I've got to say. That's facts, right? It doesn't matter who he is piloting, it's going to be lethal. That's just how he gets down. He is, as you said, one of the finest execution players I've ever seen. Mm. Now, he is, I think, maybe a little bit shaky in tournament. In, the, in sets and casuals, he looks like the best player in the world, but the results don't back it up as much as you think it would, right? It can happen to, to the best of us, you know. Wawa, um, yeah, like you say, sometimes nerves get the best of him up on the big stage, and CEO, there's no bigger stage. Like, in terms of, you know, the environment, you're in the ring, everybody's watching around, and it, it, can, it can get to you. But he's not going to let that bother him here today. He's here to take it um, and do his best, represent his region. One of three European players out here in top eight. I'm glad you brought that up because it's not a home court advantage for Wawa, but I mean, we are in Florida, right? That's like the land of the Wawa. So he's got, hey, that's he's, true. He's got a little bit of juice. Yeah, for, for sure, for sure, for sure. I wonder if he's actually been there, man. I need to, <laughs> I need, I need to ask him later. But yeah, here we go. It's going to be Hook versus is Wawa. It should be a great match for sure. Uh, two of the best, actually. Um, uh, interesting you had mentioned earlier, you know, Hook and God, an absolute killer in season one. Wawa didn't really show up in, nah. in Dragon Ball Fighters until like season two onwards. Yeah. You know, yeah. So um, yeah, this is, this is a great one for sure. It's not really, they never clashed at their prime. Yeah, right? so there you go. The thing is, so I'm glad to see 
here in CEO 2022. We're going to get the top eight. Both of these players, a lot of experience under their belt now. And they've gone through journeys, as you said, right? Wawa yeah. season two. And obviously, he played fighting games before that. But he really, I think, it got the star, the spotlight shown on him in this game in Dragon Ball Fighter. So we've seen his progression as a pro player with the spotlight on him. And then Hook, I mean, it was crazy just to see his birth into the fighting game community. Yeah. He, he played some persona. He had, a, he had like a whack-ass teddy or two, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but really, when it came to uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, that's where everybody started grabbing. <laughs> Look at this He's guy like, looking around. He's like, bro, you talking, <laughs> you talking smack on my teddy? <laughs> No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, he will wash me with Teddy. Don't worry. I, I'm weak against that character. I'm just yeah. playing with you, Hook. He said, run the set. He said, you better pull up. <laughs> but yeah, this will be a, a fantastic match for sure. Uh, yeah, Hook, man. Like, like w with no lab coat here to kind of like almost like tar the mood, yeah. this is a great one. Like you said, like, like two generations clashing. Uh, this is definitely a dream match for sure. You know, I'm just teasing Hook because this is, honestly, if I look into my heart of hearts, this is who I want to win the tournament. This is the dude I, that I was at Tournament of Power with. This is the guy oh, that yeah. helped me fall in love with the game. You know what I'm saying? So Hook and Guy, I know he's got a lot of backing, obviously, in the Twitch chat. These might be our two fan favorites, honestly. Uh, yeah. Like Wawa and Hook, this is a clash of two titans. Yeah, definitely two of my favorite players to watch in this game as well. Yeah, absolutely. Hook and God, uh, when, he's, when he's rocking that. that the, the mean green machine right there on the left, you yeah. see him Piccolo? Yeah, it's always, it's always a good time for sure. Uh, Wawa, on the other hand, this guy is just so difficult to prepare for because you don't know what the hell he's going to pick. Like, <laughs> that, that question mark at the top of the screen, he could be going there. I ain't joking, man. This guy could play every character in the game. But, of course, double fusions, insert character. It's going to be Trunks. Okay. I respect it. We got to make sure, as you said, this is top eight CEO. We are not playing at all right now to make sure we mm. bring the stuff that's going to get us into that winner's finals. We don't want to drop down into the Sharks bracket at all. Oh, my goodness. Not down there. It is looking like a nightmare in the loser's bracket for this top eight range. Ridiculous. We don't even got to get to them right now. I want to fully concentrate on Hook Game God versus Wawa. I want to see, you know, Hook Game God is a very stable player, too. He likes to control the neutral a lot, has great movement. Yeah. And I, Wawa is just so aggressive, and he has these innovative strategies that I think when he presents them to these type of opponents that are very stable, can throw them off, right? Mm. So I'm looking for a Hook to really maintain control of the neutral, try to not let Wawa get his rocks off. Because once he does, the momentum gets out of control. And yeah. Then that's when he really looks like the best player. Absolutely. Absolutely, and Wawa is going to play that very solid neutral um, as well, man. Like the, the the way that the meta has evolved in, in Dragon Ball Fighters um, with with these double fusion characters, they just control so much space. They're so effective in the neutral. They've got so many powerful tools to just shut you down. But let's go base Vegeta. Going to start off hook. And that's why I'm interested to see how Hook approaches it, right? Because it, it, since he's a neutral control type player, I want to see how he does up against these characters that really dominate that style of gameplay. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Super Saiyan 4, the ultimate fusion. Let's go. Oh, man. This intro is so cool. Every time. Goosebumps, man. Oh, man. He's talking that. He's talking that garbage to him. All right. Let's go. Let's get it, guys. First game of top eight. Woo! Yeah. Okay, God. Already looking at this. He doesn't want to interact. But we got sandwiched up. Trunks assist. We weathering the oh. storm. But nah. You saw that lockdown right there with the Trunks assist. Wawa just so effective at everything he does. Yeah, that was a big medium starter too. So Matt Hook is bleeding, but still locked in his corner. And ah. no techs here. Yeah, that's it. Tap DR right there for Wawa. And that is 100% going to be it for base Vegeta. The Saiyan Prince is eliminated early on in this first game. The tap DR. You think he would tech those with the DR flag on his back? But <laughs> <laughs> nah, not enough of a buff, I guess. That's bars. All right. Okay. <laughs> Big body in though. Look at this guy. Yeah, my man. Legendary Super Saiyan. Oh no, got him. Oh, wait a minute. What is a Super Saiyan to a fusion? Yeah, yeah for that, sure. That's one to two. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. The X throw there for the knockdown. Mid screen. Wawa keeps the pressure on. Chases the up tech. Okay, Trunks is. Oh man, gets the straight hit. Hook in trouble right now, Rich. That Trunks is. He's got so much mm. lockdown. Now yep. Wawa to do exactly what we talked about, right? He puts you in these mix-ups, and he's always got something up his sleeve that you're not expecting. Yeah, and that's a real Vegito right there. You saw the optimal combo, and this is going to be close. I think it might just kill three level ones. The Geo Sword does do a ton of damage. Burning attack. This man's dead. Oh. Yeah, he's done. Goodbye. That's Wawa. That's Wawa. Like we said at the very top, this man has the best execution in the world. That's right. Going down to it now. He comes. The character of choice for Hook and God, though, that's that Piccolo. I mean, if he makes the Piccolo come back to start this off when Wawa doesn't even have a scratch, I mean, this crowd will lose it. I'll oh. lose it. Oh. oh, my goodness. Yeah, Wawa is working on a perfect. That's correct. 
Yeah, look at this. We're all blue bars around here. Blue face in the building. Oh, oh man. I tell you what, if he spot that, that was 100% yeah. dead. I was going to say, the 2 age starter. It doesn't actually spark here, but he's going to be able to toss through the low back. Yeah. Yes. Bring him to the corner. Gets a safe jump on this. Backs off. Oh, no. But he's still he the space. Yo! Oh, my oh, oh nah. Wait. We didn't want to see the perfect or what happened? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's, 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 so, what, so, what, so what happens now? What had happened was... Oh, doggy. Yeah, yeah, Hook's telling him to just finish the character. Okay, 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 okay. So, obviously, game one going to Wawa. A little, a little anticlimactic, a little blue, blue balls ish, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. It happens. Ooh. But. I mean, I, I have no doubt in my mind that was going to be a perfect anyway. Exactly, exactly, right? <laughs> At the end of the day, yeah. one thing you don't doubt about Wawa is his execution. Oh, of so course. So, once he got that hit, that was a dead character. And what a way to start the set. What a way to start top eight. Mm. Wawa was like, Rich, you talking that mess about me in tournament? We'll do perfect on your favorite player. That's right, Wawa, without a doubt. And you know, both these guys definitely favorites to make grand finals. But let's see who gets that spot in winners' finals first of all. Hook Gang got off to an excellent start this game. I mean, already did more work this game than the last. Yeah. Oh, tries to chase the up tech, but Wawa gets out. But the pressure's still on from Hook. Tech's the Dragon Rush. Hook still maintaining a decent position while his assists were coming back, though. So, yeah, you see access to both of them now. Oh, okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Gogeta 4. Okay. Gets the hit again. You see the lockdown with the Trunk C assist? And that's so exactly good. exactly how he lost Vegeta last time. Was that one hit overhead directly into the crouch medium? Yeah, and it's a, yeah, like you said, a medium start. Oh, just too far there. Bro, he really wanted to party. He start the party. Of course. Trying to open them up, stays in front here, gets out of danger. Look, this is what Wawa loves, man. He loves. Oh, man, snatched up. Never mind. Hilarious. Broly, <laughs> gonna give him that. <laughs> the level three right there. Oh! Yo, he tried to snatch him up. Oh, yes, the this actually caught the raw tag, but nothing else. Whoa! Oh, my goodness, yo! Yo! My man just bought the new Sonic the Hedgehog game, bro. This guy yo, was spinning. That was looking like Top Gun Maverick, my dude. <laughs> 10. Put 215 on the clock. Okay, goes for the meaty there. Pressure on in the corner. Oh, oh, nah. oh the delayed H gets the hit now. No re jump though from Wawa. Hook gets out. We got another chance to play. He's got the base Vegeta in as well. Ah, gonna get a little conversion here, but at this point it's more about the screen position, the corner carry. Yep, gonna get the knockdown. Probably set up the hell zone. No, meaty orb. Oh, oh. So hard to see my man Piccolo behind that big rolly assist. Opens up Wawa. Yep, and he should be able to close this out just getting that Vegeta assist if he needs it. Doesn't need it. I think that should just about do it here, Inch. Most definitely. We're going to have the follow-up right there. We got the base Vegeta on top of that. You already know how it's going to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that Broly level one, man, it's, it's, it's easy to forget how much damage it actually does. It's, it's, it's a lot, man. It's, it's a gigantic chunk. Yeah. Oh, yo, he got two! He oh got two! Happy birthday, it's gonna spark up! This is huge! Nah, he actually caught the Piccolo and just kept going. He tried to save his boy, but nah, it's not gonna happen. Instead, he might oh, be for it. Yeah, that's it. Level three here. I don't think it's gonna. No. Yeah, I mean, Piccolo's done, but yeah. I don't think it's gonna kill base Vegeta. No. Go for the follow up. Oh! oh my. The... That was the next question, right? Was he gonna survive the mix? No, sir. No way. Gets that cross up there, closes it out, and <laughs> okay, and God feels robbed right now. Oh, sparks up. Okay. Realizing that you cannot afford to get hit by this double fusion. What? Oh, the sword hitbox. That Bro. Is blessed privilege. Absolutely. Fusion privilege right there. I can hear Hook's voice in my head right now. Come on, bro. Like Michael Mouse ass, jump ass, bro. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to do it right there. Oh, look, this guy's styling out here. Wawa going to get that kill. Level one. There we go. Gogeta. Shadow clone, Jutsu. That's it. Done. Wawa, 2 oh. oh wow. Wow. Who was looking strong in that second game, but oh, man, the happy birthdays can change the game. Duh. <laughs> it can be, yeah, the, the happy birthday is like. He said, you see him do the jump ass? <laughs> 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 yeah, he definitely got clipped with a couple of happy birthdays in that set. And it's easy to feel robbed when, when, when it goes down like that, you know, because happy birthdays in Dragon Ball are just brutal. I'm, I feel like it's a lot more brutal in this game than others because it's just like, man, that's a huge factor gone right there. He's like, extra <laughs> he's like, look, yeah, he's like, you take this, bro. You're the one that plays <laughs> this Mickey Mouse ass team. Oh, you love man. to see it. So Hook going to drop down to loser's bracket there. Um,
but but wow wow man we'll go on to the winners final um you know without a doubt entering this tournament you see wawa's name in the bracket you've got to imagine he's one of the favorites to, to go all the way and he's in a good position to do it right now oh big time taking down hook and god that's a lot of momentum and he's guaranteed top three finish at the very least with that winner's finals berth so big ups to wawa but we got a lot of games to go we do indeed you know? full top eight stacked players man top to bottom Ooh. um really really great stuff here thank you all for joining us here in the arena guys you having some fun that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear, man. And we've already seen the beautiful execution of Wawa. We've seen the showmanship of Hook Game God. But we got so many dope players in the bracket. I know Garlic Bread sitting down there and the loses a lot of people. Tell you what, looking forward to that. He is looking ridiculous. Yesterday, he was putting on an absolute performance with that unique team, uh, the Beerus Baby Krillin team. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing that uh, that coming up. I was talking to Jake before, man. When it comes to California and fighting games, it's either the toppest thing or the weirdest <laughs> the thing. That's just how it goes, man. To play in those weird teams. But in this game, you know, like, like playing those unusual characters, it's so hard to prepare for. Where yeah. are you going to find someone else that plays that team? You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right? And on paper, you're going to be like, oh, this guy's a joke, 0-2. And, and then you play against <laughs> you just get like, washed. like, what? Excuse me? You just, huh? get, you just get clipped by the rocks. Yeah. 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 What, what happened? That assist, man. Oof. Yeah. But, um, man, of course, like you said, we've got some, some insane matches coming up, man. I'm looking forward to seeing yeah. the rest. I'm looking forward to see how the rest of Europe does, of course, you know, out here. Of Chanks is in there. We've got Kasuga as well. Who did Shanks lose to? Um, oh, who did Shanks lose to? Let me just I'll check the okay, bracket. We'll, we'll in a find out. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. Shanks in the building as well. I know that's a big fan favorite on top of it. So, I mean, there's so many fan favorites here at CEO 2022. It's awesome to see everybody coming out for Dragon Ball Fighters. We got Nitro on deck as oh, well. You know, that's Nitro. A U.S. favorite going up against Kasuga, as yeah. you mentioned. I mean, I love that we're starting this winner's top eight with some international competition too. Yeah. Right? USA versus the world. That's really what has made this game thrive is all that international and worldly type play. So it's going to be good. Absolutely. And to introduce those players that you just mentioned their range, we're going to throw it over to Jake Ryan in the ring. So take it away, bro. How about that match, guys? A perfect to start top eight. We're talking about one of the best players in the world. And Wawa gave us seven golden letters? Really? <laughs> Sorry, Hook. You got a better chance than losers. But no losers in the next match here. I know we were talking about fan favorites. And y'all know him. Y'all love him. The best kid in New York next to Pred. Pred's number one right now. But we're going to see if he can rise to the occasion. Rise Nitro! I see what he did. I see what you did there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yo, he came out to the Virgil theme. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yo, he's serious. Listen, bro, you can't be coming out to that theme song unless you're planning to do some absolute damage. And we know Nitro is all about that. Oh, most definitely. Nitro, one of the deadliest players in Dragon Ball Fighters. Draped in the Dominican Republic flag, there's a whole lot of representation here today. I like it. Not only from our international competition, but from our U.S. representatives as well. Absolutely. And Nitro is, without a doubt, one of the best players, not only in the U.S., but the entire world. This guy is just a monster, you know. Yeah, a ridiculous play, right? He has really put New York, not on his back, I should say, but really one of the players that has made sure that the region has stayed as one of the deadliest and most recognized in the world. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a massive fan of him. I love the intro for Nitro. He's ready to cut the competition down, but this is some of the toughest competition in the business. Having one of the most best breakout performances at Bum's Birthday Bash. The monster himself. Kusuga! <laughs> this guy, Kasuga, is such a troll, man. I'm telling you. Oh, this is going to be some troll stuff, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, the monkey beat there for Kasuga <laughs> coming out. He got the Brazil flag on his back. Sim. Oh, this is kind of a vibe. I can't lie. I'm in, Yeah, I'm all right. Straight, it sounds like it's some Donkey Kong Country stuff. I think this is what inspired the Drake album, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just you, took the, you, the you might be onto something there, bro. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Kasuga, though, coming out. <laughs> the monkey beat. And now, it, I, I don't know. This guy, like, I think he likes the meme, though, man. I play so, like, Unga and stuff. <laughs> but he's actually super calculated yeah, in the game. Yeah, he's yeah. very optimal with his, with his, uh, his team decisions and his... Uh, 
everything he does, man. So, yeah, Kasuga, very, very strong player for sure. Do not count him out. When it comes to players that actually, like, make top eight and embrace that, like, Ungo Wild style, like, sure, you know what I'm saying? But I think that a lot of the time they play it up just to kind of make sure their opponent has a false sense of security. Right? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Like, no, there's a lot more going on upstairs than you think. Mm-hmm. And Kasuga is a, a fine example of that when it gets underway. Two, honestly, cerebral players. Both of these players very, very intelligent when it comes to how they approach the game yeah, yeah. and, in general, how they break down their opponents. So it's going to be tough to get past either one of them. And, I mean, Wawa is a hell of an opponent to be waiting for as well. Mm, no doubt. You've got to imagine these guys have played a lot as well as of recent. You know, Kasuga have been, been taking some trips to New York. You know, definitely been playing out with, with their scene um, quite a fair bit. So let's see if... Uh, if we see some player, some some player specifics here between these two, that's what I'm really looking forward to the most. Honestly, you see that if Nitro can kind of break down Kasuga in specific ways, or vice versa, right? Both of these players, again, very calculated, as you mentioned. So I want to see what they bring to the table. It's looking like the standard stuff. Yeah, it's going to be the Waifu squad on the right there for Kasuga. <laughs> that is his signature team, bro. Team Bathwater right there for him. He loves it. <laughs> Like, I'm telling you, man. Like he's all about that. Like <laughs> lab coat, that was fine for him. You know that fit his. Uh, that fit his. He, he's fine. He's fine playing that. <laughs> it fits. It fits him to a T. But uh, but Nitro, of course, with that signature Ultra Instinct, the best uh, UI in the biz. And of course, this is just a button check, guys. Yeah. You know, don't get excited. You're not seeing Freezer or Ginyu right now, so yeah. <laughs> My best Bardock, or remember him? You know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> remember those days? How many was it at Evo? Oh 70, my goodness! Seventy something or something. Count like that. the count the level threes. Yeah, count the level threes. That was a hell of a time. But now we've moved on. That was uh, pretty funny though. You said that twenty-one lap code. That was his style. As yeah. Long, as long as you yeah. can tier three sub, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For <laughs> yeah, real. We're in there. That's it, man. <laughs> tier three hey, sub for him. That's a beautiful thing about fighting games. Everybody's motivated by something different, you know. As a how you find your character. For sure, for sure. Just a quick little button check here for these guys. Just uh, some okay. hand warmers. Oh yeah. Warmsies, <laughs> just getting ready. <laughs> Warmsy uppies. Warms. <laughs> <laughs> you've been hanging out, you've been hanging out with the pants at the smash stage. Hey, I man, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, Tyron, I thought I knew Tyron. Clearly, like, I like, do not. Like, come on, bro. I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're doing after your shows in the UK. You guys wrestle and then do the smash in the back, huh? Yeah, man, we got, we, we, we got all the setups ready, bro. <laughs> the CRTs are there. All right, here we go, guys. Getting straight into the action right now. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go. Nitro versus Kasuga. Let's go, guys. Oops. All right, Team Waifu, as you mentioned for Kasuga, mm -hmm. best Ultra Instinct in the world. Oh, my goodness. So good. Nitro. Nit Nitro, one of the few remaining Kid Buu players, man. Bread as well, you know, holding it down. It's good, man. I don't know what it is about people trying to not play Kid Buu. The character is still point and click adventure as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, where do you want to be on the screen? Just point there and yeah. he'll be there, bro. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, he's definitely all about it. Oh, here we go. Shouts to Lord Knight for that one. He was the first person I ever heard say it called Kid Blue Point and Click Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Kefra! And this character, man, like, she's she's a threat for sure. You know, very, very, like, like she, she's kind of like, I would say she's like, like high mid tier, but she's all oh, go straight for the overhead. <laughs> wow. Damn, you like that flame like that, Kasuga? Straight away with the Dragon Rush? Nitro gets opened up. I really like him tested Nitro super early. First the overhead, then the Dragon Rush. What's his defense like today? Mm. Okay, and there's the pressure. Plus frames here. All oh, barrier and the overhead. All oh, the punish from Nitro! So Kasuga actually he used all of his resources there pretty much. You know, he used both assists and he just went for a, you know, a, a, a stray uh, attempt. But Nitro was ready. You can't try that against a guy like him. Exactly. I'm like testing to a certain extent. That was a little bit of an ambitious attempt. Yeah, maybe seeing early on what he can get away with. Oh, the fall in M though. Gonna get a full combo right now. Yeah, she don't skip leg though. She got some length on those bad boys. Oh man, she's she's a bit of a beast when it comes to that. But here we go. Knock down mid screen. Probably level three on the way. Yes. Okay, now you gotta guess or spin your spark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be a if, if Nitro wants to keep the team composition, it might be a spark. Let's see. No, he's confident in his defense range. You love to see it. Ooh, and wow. then actually interrupting the command grab as well. Yeah, great choice there from Nitro. And, and look, he came off so good from that, man. Look, he's going to get the level three here, and he's going to put Kasuga in the exact same situation. Now we'll see if Kasuga's defense can live up to Nitro's. Oh, no, no, that was an IED oh. error. That was an IED. He messed it up, I guess. Love it. Quite the execution error. going to allow Kasuga to get back to Kefla. I mean, he went for the rejump there. He was going for the, the, the big stuff. Oh, okay, there we go. A 236M did get improved slightly in, in uh, recent patches. Just chilling right now. 
Yeah, exactly. Avoiding all the projectiles, trying to buy his time. Yeah, okay. Nitro gets away with a straight hit and a vanish. A little bit of a follow up here. Nitro bring him straight to the ground. Yes, extensions with the kid move assist. Nice. Oh, he actually got him with the 6H and now a full combo on Kasuka's site. Going to extend it and gain as much bar as he can with that jump S. Look at this. That's going to be a dead Android 21 and a ton of meter built for Kasuka. What a play. Now he's in prime position. What's interesting about that hit to me is the fact that the 6H hit in a string and all those neutral 6Hs actually were blocked by Nitro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It can catch you for sure. That's one of the things that, that you know, she has up on over other characters. She got those uh, the cancelable uh, overheads. She got the great lows. Really scary. Definitely. So if you lock your opponent down, you can make them guess and it is tough to get out. Nitro trying to do that to Kasuga now. Yeah. Says avoided because of oh. that. Okay, out of trouble now, but okay, Nitro, this time Spark's up there. Interesting Spark from Nitro. I feel like he wasn't really in, in any significant danger. That definitely felt, honestly, a yeah. little bit more like a Guilty Gear Spark or a, or a Guilty Gear Burst or an emo, emotional Spark, you know? Like, he just wanted to maintain that corner advantage, but this, even then, he doesn't get it. This guy Nitro's been playing some Jacko, huh? <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's trying to burst out. Okay, here we go. Okay, double overhead there. Castle got another Dragon Rush. Nitro been getting opened up by these a lot. Most more than I've ever seen. The DRs, man, catch the Nitro off guard. Oh, and then faded it out, punished the reflect attempt with a raw attack. Bring the Android 21 back in for the cameo kill. Nice. Yep, extend it as much as you need to get that kill. Points at him, sends him out, and now it's solo Kid Boo against a full squad here for Kasuga. That is, that is not fun. <laughs> oh, four, seven Dragon Balls though at the bottom. Oh, it doesn't matter. The barrier preventing any and all hands from reaching inside the vehicle. Asuka Look at this. the bar, got to. I mean, if he was able to take it down from there, it's dead. But right now. That, that was super optimal for Kasuga. He dropped it at the end, but now Nitro is going to be able to get this kill here. No, he doesn't go for it. I know Kibu level three doesn't do a great deal of damage, but he gets the kill on the Android 21. Here comes Kefla. He's got seven bars on that pretty much, so next hit should kill. Oh, I think Nitro was going for, for, for Shenron, honestly. Next hit did kill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <just> Kasuga. <laughs> yeah, and you got to imagine that's what Nitro wanted. He wanted to, yeah. to go for, for those, uh, for that summon. You know, he wanted to summon the Eternal Dragon, but it didn't work out that way. Kasuga takes the first game over Nitro. Oh. And, I mean, if, 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 if Kasuga keeps this up, I don't really want to call it an upset because both these players are great, but, bro, that would be huge. Oh, most definitely, right? Kasuga, Wawa, all international winners finals. And then they oh, a clash! What is that? Save your soul! Almost saved by the barrier range. Almost. Uh, that was one of the wildest clash sequences. And just in general, you can tell how good both these players are. You ain't going nowhere. You're trying to micro walk out. Stop that. All right, here we go. Nitro cooking right now. Should be able to close this out, I believe. Oh, no, missed the grab. Oh, Ooh. doesn't matter. Snatched out the sky, raised the roof one time. Nitro back in this set. Stretch Armstrong dunks him, gets the kill. And now here we go, straight back in. It's going to be this 21-18 Android duo for Casca. Nitro is on fire, though. This is, a, this is worlds different from the first game. Yeah, the 6 end delay. Oh, clashes again. Whoa. He tried to reflect, but just going with the 5H stops all that. OK, here we go. Kasuga going to try and make this last as long as possible. Reset time. Oh, he actually smoked the UI assist. Oh, snatched up. There we go. Yeah, we saw the jab check earlier on the command grab. Nitro not having it this time. Oh, there we go. EX17 for the Oki. Oh, Nitro just reflects it out. Goes straight in. Oh, my goodness. What a punish on the barrier. That was godlike. That was such a sick bait. Oh, my goodness. Nitro. Yep. Okay, here we go. Oki, best level three in the game, in my humble opinion. Here we go. Let's see what it's going to be. Oh, he messed it up. Nitro is missing these Oki situations. Very uncharacteristic of him. Yeah, definitely. So weird execution errors for Nitro. But is he going to be able to pick this up anyway? And should finish off the Android 18. No funny business. Yeah, three level ones. And you're done. Now it's just going to be, yep, use the UI assist at the, the, the height there of the Kid Buu one to get the max damage. But here we go. Limit break, Android 21. Lab coat is banned, but this version is not. Let's see if Kasuga can make it happen. Yeah, and everybody just kind of talks about Lab coat now, right? Because of how dangerous she is. But Android 21, a monster in her own right. One of the best anchors in the game, and she could definitely bring this back. Yeah, definitely one of the strongest characters in the game. You're right. Here we go. All right, level three. Going to go for some more God Oki right now. Let's see. Nitro might even spark it just to. No, goes for the DP and the assist behind it to keep it safe. That was clean. 
beautiful, exactly. The Android 21 backing up the DP assist Nitro. Now you need to utilize his spark to make his way out of the situation. All sparks up that time though. Kazuka forced to do it almost. Next hit would have probably been the end. Oh my goodness, 5L of the gods right there. Oh yeah, he's still got that. Oh he yeah. Twisted. He might be normalized in some other ways, but no. Mad active frames. It's like six active frames or something, bro. It's mad. Okay, here we go. Do this time. Oh, oh there we go. Nitro. finally, third time's the charm on the Oki gets it off, and now here we go. Need to warm up a little bit. Dominant game two for him. Spark yeah. up one more time. Dragon rush into the super. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, even build some extra change on it as well. Nitro fighting back. Man, huge stuff right there. And you can hear the crowd getting behind there, boy. You love to see it. Great match so far. Does have the home court. Yeah, that's what we want to see, right? We always want to see the game threes, the game fives go down to the wire. I want to see the adjustments back and forth. Nitro, eyes closed right now, really trying to focus in, hone in on this game. Yep, and that's what it takes. Oh, happy birthday early on. Oh, and that was a great choice to switch into UI because as we know, Kid Boo, happy birthdays are not the best. But look, UI's, oh no, drops it. Oh, so close. Oh man, Kazuka fighting back and that's a heartbreaker for Nitro. You yeah. know he's going to try and make it as awkward as possible for him to get a hit now. And honestly, that was a great barrier call. It's so good in general, but you know Nitro was thirsty to kill that assist. He wanted to make sure he got that other hit very quickly. Oh. Finds the forbidden starter coming down from the rafters. Yeah, that's right. Moving like Sting right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a dead character, and he's going to get maybe 30% damage off here. Oh, this luck. Okay, yeah, single hit. This doesn't do a great deal. Yeah, he's dead. Honestly, if the spark lasted just a little bit longer, she healed a little bit more, she would have been alive. But yeah. ended at just the appropriate time for Nitro. Man, uh, Nitro's awareness to, to, to switch out on that happy birthday with Kibu, that was so good. Yeah. Okay. Kasuka bleeding right now. One character down here. Android duo once again. Yeah, uh, Kasuka has spent that spark as well, trying to take the momentum back. But Nitro still firmly in control right now. Oh, what, what a, a confirm. confirm. Yeah, that was so good. Okay, here we go. Incredible Oki, but he is in the corner, so he's just going to get a safe jump on that. No left, right, only up, down. Okay, great tech there on the invisible Dragon Rush almost. That barrier, so good at masking the DR startup. Oh, man, Kid Boo. Kid Boo, like I said, why did people stop playing his character? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> yeah, I think that the, uh, a lot of people just weren't really fond of the damage decrease that he got mm, a couple okay. patches ago. But yeah, you're, you're right. The tool set is still there. He can still make things happen, man, for sure. Ridiculous character. Yeah. Right now, Nitro knows he's in control of the game. Just let Kasuga come to him. Yep, this is Kasuga's favorite character. This is his all oh, good tech on the Dragon Rush there. Okay, just chilling right now. Those discs blowing up, those key blasts. Oh, Nitro. Oh, no, misses the confirm. <gasps> Kasuga with buttons and wake up. Yeah, far the back dash window, just barely getting out of range with the auto combo. As we go. Oh, okay, that's a great choice there using the EX 17 just to punish any kind of assist call. Oh man, this is looking rough though. Nitro realizes that, you know, going in right now could be a disaster, but do you see how much meat Akasuka's getting from these barrier calls? <laughs> I think that's a part of why Nitro is like, I'm not gonna go in, bro. I have the life lead. Oh, look at the bar, he just built a full bar. Immediately gained seven back. Oh, and that was second hit of 5LL. Yes, illegal starters are now level three. Some of the best Oki in the game coming up off this one. And there's still so much time left on the clock, so Akasuka can bring this back. Let's see where it's going to be. Left, right, up, down. Okay, good block there. Just a straight IAD. Oh, pressure right now. Kid Boo Gumball is out. The last second side switch from Nitro gets the hit. Oh, my goodness. If Kasuga went through that storm, he was able to survive that next mix-up. I think it would have been trouble for Nitro. But he hits it at the appropriate time. Ends it with the UI, the signature character. That's and it. Nitro makes it to winner's finals. Wow. So there you have it, guys. It's going to be Wawa versus Nitro. Winner's finals. He was the storm that approached Kasuga, and he could not fend it off there. Great stuff from Nitro. One of the best in the entire world at this game. Most definitely, and Kasuga looks so sick in the beginning too. Like the first game, he just looked like he was oh, about man. to run away with the entire set. For real. But as you mentioned, one of the best players in the world. He's still alive, going to be dropping down to the loser's bracket, which is not going to be an easy feat. But Nitro, the player of the day so far. We'll see though, he's got to take down Wawa next, and Wawa is looking in prime, in prime form. Yeah, yeah, very, very uh, solid stuff there. And I'm really looking forward to that winners' finals. That's going to be just gourmet games. That's a run back, actually, yeah. from Combo Breaker. Yeah, this is Brooklyn Dodgers today. I'm honorary New York. You know what I'm saying? I'm honorary New York. There you go. Nitro. Holding it down. Nitro looking so good. But, but what do you think about that game, guys? Are you ready for some more Dragon Ball? Let me hear it. Let me hear it.
Yeah, that's what's going on right there. We're going to throw it over to Jake to introduce the next players. Let's go, man. All right, guys. Our winner's finals has been decided. It's going to be Wawa versus Nitro, but we're going to get into that later because now it's do or die for our competitors. And they've been in this position before. And you all know him and love him. I think you've heard of him before. Some call him Shanks, but some call him El Padre! Oh man, Shanks holding it down for the Spanish community. And you know that the, the chat right now is blowing up with those Spanish flags. <laughs> oh man. Oh, wait. Damn, this is kind of epic, I can't lie. <gasps> oh, man, holding it down for the Giants. Yeah, let's go. Shanks, like El Padre, this. coming to the ring, guys. Oh, man, let's make sure Neil get in the zone before the action that needs to be taking place commences. Oh, man, this is going to be so good. Shanks just, you know, uh, for a long time, the pillar of the Spanish community. You know, they, they, they look up to this guy as a god and for good reason, you know, really. Uh, what, what you, what, what's the crazy thing about Shanks? Yeah, like he, he holds it down for the community so well. You know, he represents Spain, but man, like he's the nicest guy you'll ever meet. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's what's really cool about it, right? But oh, I don't want to step on my man Jake's toes. Oh, man. What a great entrance from Shanks. One of the best players in the world, really representing as strong as he can. And uh, one of the best from the East Coast is going to be coming up shortly. Some call him a master. And the masters of the game is one of the best things to watch. And I have a question for everybody in the crowd. Actually, a request. When these intros rock, I need you to scream for this bass Vegeta master. I think it's Shine. We are announcing Kite to the stage. And here comes Kite, this player, man. This guy has been so strong. A really good showing at Combo Breaker as well. But you know he really wants to stake his claim here in the top eight as CEO. The bucket hat boys, I like it. Your man looking good. Yeah, this should be a very, very solid game. But don't forget, they do not have the safety net from the winner's side. This is it. If you're out now, you're done. You're going home. And for Shanks, it's a lot longer of a trip than it is for Kite. <laughs> that is a great point, Ray. It always feels bad getting back on that plane and knowing that you have to sit there for 10, 15 hours just knowing that you got to think about the L. And right now, that's not where Shanks is trying to be. Kite, on the other hand, of course, I think a little bit less known than Shanks. And that's what I think is going to aid him a little bit in the motivation of this match, right? If there's a way to make a splash onto the scene, as you mentioned, this is a pillar of the community right here, the forefather of the Spanish Dragon Ball scene. So if Kite can do this, a lot of people are going to be put on notice. Go okay, rocking that Casa Bunch hat. Shout out to my boy Bunch. But this will be a great match for sure. Shanks right here. Going to have to represent for Spain, as he always does. But Kite, not going to go down easy. This will be a base Vegeta, uh, base Vegeta mirror, I believe, as All well. Right. Well, these players trying to bring some neutral control to the space. Strong projectile game. Obviously, good mix-ups from base Vegeta as well once you get it started. No doubt. Shanks definitely has built this team around uh, single player experience. <laughs> this is a story mode team. Well, that's he, a campaign gamer. Legitimate. Like, he is not <laughs> trying to let you play. He will get that single hit, and you're just going to watch from there, bro. I like that. That's a very good idea. Oh, yeah. To, to go off your um, point earlier um, about, you know, who defeated Shanks, it was, it was Hook and God. Oh. Hook got the okay, Yeah, that's, wow. that's who puts Shanks in losers. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. So we have Shanks and Kite. I believe we're getting a bun check. Bun check, indeed, yes. Make sure that the hands are nice and warm. That's it. Shanks switching over to pad not that long ago, man. Had a had a hand oh injury. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. you traditionally a stick player. Yeah. Um, you know, had a hand injury and had to, you know, it's actually pretty admirable because he made the switch over to pad, uh, and for some people that's that's hard. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Like that's that's not an easy thing to do. But Shanks, man, you know, he's still playing at a world class level uh, with a team that he built around. You know, uh, a bit a bit easier on the execution side of things. Um, so, yeah, you love to see it, man. 
Yeah, personally, I've experimented with the different peripherals, right? Hitboxes yeah. and sticks and pads and whatnot. And the yeah. thing I've always found the hardest to transition to another peripheral is the movement. So the fact yeah. that Dragon Ball is such a heavy movement style game and he's still performing at this level on a different controller is pretty, pretty sick. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I feel like, like Shanks' team is just so good, man. Like, regardless of how you look at it, these are, these are three very strong characters. Yeah. Maybe, like, the, the Janemba especially as an anchor, I feel is one of the stronger anchors in the entire game. This character is a nightmare to deal with. Janemba really, honestly, Nightmare is the perfect way to put it. Uh, yeah. It causes so many problems at the end. There's things that you think you can start doing, and he just shuts down. And really, it just uh, the different angles of approach, the different speeds that which he can approach you at. Like it's a very funky rhythm compared to a lot of the other Dragon Ball characters. Yeah, he controls space. You know, like like you said, like no other character can. But let's go. This will be a great match. Gonna let the intros rock. Base for G up. Oh, crowd going along with it. You love to see it. Come on, guys. Let's go. The Shine. Beautiful. Wow. We hear you guys. That's what I'm talking about. That's a, a Dragon Ball Fighters tradition, baby. Oh, man, for sure. It's a shame Cell's in the second slot. Just to, uh, <laughs> yeah. let, let's put it that way. Okay. Oh. oh are you trying to chase me down? Shanks ready for that. Yeah, he went for the Oki 2H there on for the uptake. Ah, immediately getting a Dragon Rush, seeing how you're going to do teching these. Shanks gets it early. Yeah, I was talking to Jake. He said he did get DR wow. to death by Shanks. You got to look out for that. What in the world? Okay, there we go. With the Google Maps Super Drive. <laughs> super Dash. <excuse> me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Gets the throw. Brings him down. Backs off there. Okay, Kite willing to play a neutral game here against Shanks, but will convert off the rapid key blast. Yeah, already. Okay. Ooh, tagging in the Ooh. cell as well. We're going to have a decent amount of bar to play with when we get another hit. Oh! Just takes the meaty. Yeah, the jump S right there, and he's going to get a combo extension. There we go. Brings him down again. Just covering that space. Safe jump. Okay. Oh, went for the defensive super dash, but oh, the 5M hit from so far away. Steph Curry range on the 5M. My goodness. <laughs> Shanks right now looking on fire. What a start. Yes, yeah, Cell. Big this, Warriors fan. Bro, I'm telling you, this character's look super legit still. Oh, Cell? I Whoa. love Cell. 100%. Yep. I know we got a whole lot of them in Season 1, but this character is still one of my favorites in the game. It still, honestly, can get the job done. Okay, and here we go. Speaking of godlike pressure, here we go. Level 3 goes behind there. Oh, spark up from Kite. Yeah, realizing that. Keeping base with Jiro alive. Very important at this moment in the game. But Shanks, man, he has not been looking stressed at all this game. Gets another hit on base Vegeta. Yeah, and it's going to be looking close to death, perhaps. If he goes to the two bars, it should be. And yeah. that is it. Yeah, going to immediately switch out to just speed things along a bit. Great stuff from Shanks. And now here comes Vegito. Still in Spark, but it's only a level two Spark. And it's almost gone. Yeah, seven bars to his name at the very least. But still, he's got two Dragon Balls if he wants to go that route for Shenron. Oh, but okay. I can see already spinning some meter here. He wants to bring it back with it, that Vegito. Oh, yo, perfect attack. One of the best special moves in the game. Oh, he actually got the hit. Okay. There we go. The delayed H going to work out there. Level three on the way for sure. Going to get that Vanish Oki on this. Let's see what Kite goes for. You better make it count. Oh, bro. Oh, man. A bit of a heartbreaker right there. Kite not being able to continue that momentum. Now he's on defense. Trying to survive the pressure. Gets a reflect off, but doesn't want to stick his hand in the blender again. Oh, yeah. Here we go, past frames. Shanks all oh, reflect into the 5M, the Geo Classic, but Shanks out of range for sure. Not often you're out of range of that 5M, though, to be <laughs> yeah, honest. Facts. You know, that, 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 that move goes mad far. Well, honestly, more surprising that he was out of range, 100%. Okay, there we go. Double overhead there. Oh, again, the DR. And look, the 27 hits here, so we can get the loop. Optimal stuff from Shanks always. Oh, no, he dropped it, unfortunate. Did go for the optimal combo though, and you know there's still maybe some kinks to work out when it comes to the peripheral change. Oh, but no kinks to work out there. Ex Rocket King avoiding the projectiles, and that should be game one. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Maria Shanks takes it. Full team composition and Spark left on his side. Man, that's that's a that's a tough look right there for Kai. Yeah, definitely. Looking at long for man's. Yes, definitely <laughs> long for man out here. Oh look. Okay, the coaching. Yeah, man. The assists, the running from Pred. Yeah, Pred, 
Let him know what he needs to do, what he needs to change about his game plan. Because right now, Shanks, as you said, looking very dominant. Didn't lose a character. Didn't lose a resource, really. Yeah, he, he, had, he had the full team. And he had Spark. He didn't even... When you when you don't even force the opponents to use Spark, that's when you know you didn't really worry them. You exactly, know? yeah. But look at this. What a round start for Shanks. Oh, no. He's dropping these Vegeta loops, though. They pick it up where we left off, including the drop. Now Kai back to this base Vegeta game, but he already uses assist. Shanks got both of his available, trying to build that back up. Really, in this base Vegeta type mirror, you've got to have a great neutral or oh. great management of your assist. Great blocks. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Rich, yeah, no doubt. You need to have just the, the, the movement. This character is all about it, you know? Yeah, and Shanks is utilizing that last bit of his assist to get the Oh, <laughs> That combo is beautiful. Sorry to interrupt. Here we uh, go. You, you're good. I'm glad that Shanks is hitting the Vegeta combos now. It was worth interrupting. There we go. Level three, teleport behind this time again. Wow. Did Janemba, bro. The first time. It's so plus on that level three. It's just like, okay, you literally have to guess the side. It could be, oh, yo, you can't challenge that 2-2-S follow-up from Shanks. Ridiculous with the Janemba. Yeah, man, that's what I'm telling you. You need to be so careful. So, reflect it off. And now nice. just waited for him, and we got a Dragon Rush this time from Kite. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful stuff. We're gonna toss him back to the corner here. Number yeah. Three with the Android 21. Yep, gonna get that God Oki. All the stocks rising right now. Let's see what Kite goes for. Oh, just tries to bait out maybe a spark or a perfect attack from Shanks. Okay, again, the DR working out there. And you know, if that's what was opening up Kite, he was like, let me give this a shot. For sure. And there we go, that's gonna do it. Two bar spend, we'll get the job done. Go, Zwa, the sword. Ooh. Hey, my man, Kite. Back in the building here. Shanks got to get a little bit worried. Lost the resource now. One character down. Yeah, for sure. Okay, just playing that neutral again. You need to be so careful right now. Oh, the command grab is straight into the level three. Let's see what the pressure is going to be from Shanks. Dash up on him, I imagine. Safe jump. Yeah, he just went with the moon jump and waited for him. Maybe trying to bait out the spark or the reflect. Oh, it was in front. Oh, no. And he, of course, Janemba gets those great conversions off of the Super Dash with those teleport follow-ups. Look at this conversion right here. Yep. Boom. The log straight into the Gallic Gun. Final character now for Kite. This could be make or break time range. Android 21. She is a great anchor. The spark is still looming as well. Oh, chop the Super Dash out. Ready for him to mash on the ground as well. Yep. And sparks up as well. Just pushes Shanks away. Two fully life. Oh, okay. The Super Dash pays off. And yeah, the air backdash ended up getting clipped. But what is the miss going to be here? Let's find out. Straight down into level three, I imagine. Yeah, just keep rinse and repeating. Shanks does have that spark available. Let's see if he's confident in his defense or if he just spends it to, to get Kai away. This spark, oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, the immediate rocket kick. Stop thinking you could do something after the spark. Yeah, for sure. Kai, oh, that, that was, was so plus. Okay, goes behind the empty vanish into the dash. Shanks gets the hit. Should be able to kill right now. Let's see. Just finish your food. There we go. Gallic gun. Shanks takes it over Kite. Two to nil. So Kite going to be exiting the tournament. Big ups to Shanks, though, and big ups to Kite. Representing the East Coast. East Coast always coming out strong in fighting games, and especially Dragon Ball Fighters. But El Padre, he is the champion of the loser's bracket so far. Yep, absolutely. So he will be advancing on there to see. I'm just going to check who he's going to be playing against. But um, regardless, it'll be a great match for sure. Really looking forward to seeing some more of Shanks in this bracket. He should be playing up against whoever lost to Nitro, which is Kasuga. Uh, I, Kasuga. Imagine, I imagine. Kasuga versus Shanks, I imagine. Yeah, okay. That's all oh my goodness. Yes, <laughs> it is indeed. Kasuga yeah, versus Shanks. That's ridiculous right there. So we're going to get to that in a little bit, of course. But right now, I want to thank everybody for joining us for this Dragon Ball Fighters here on Twitch.tv slash CEO Gaming. We got a bunch of top eights in the arena already here today. We're going to be going down with the arena stuff tomorrow as well. It is a beautiful time. But right now, we got to pay those bills to make CEO Gaming possible. So let's holla at the sponsor. All right, guys, welcome back to the top eight of Dragon Ball Fighters here at CEO 2022 Tyrant and Ringe here to hold it down for you guys uh, throughout the rest of the bracket. Guys, how do you feel about those first three games, huh? Hmm? Okay, 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 okay. 
Oh yeah, we've got some more absolute bangers coming right up on the way. We're going to get, get uh, cracking on with some more losers bracket action. Fortunately, one of these two players is going to go home. Oh man, that's what's always so exciting about the losers bracket, but also about the heartbreaking thing, right? You know that players are playing at their max capacity, their max potential, because there's no other life to go. There's no safety net, as you put it earlier. That's the yeah. perfect way to go about it. Now, to bring us that last top eight round one match, it is my man, the MC, Jake Ryan. Back, guys, I hope you enjoyed the break. Thank you so much, Tyron and Ringe, for delivering the hype on these matches that we've had so far. And this is the last first round losers match that we have coming up. We just got to see the fantastic Cell play from the side of Shanks, but we have one of the original Cell masters, a maestro, you could say, coming up to the stage. Some say he's perfect, but this is perfection! Of course, coming out. Oh my goodness, the cell theme. Man, I love the cell theme. Oh, oh blowing kisses. Yeah, this 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 dude perfection was putting in work yesterday. Let me tell you, what a run for him. But it's do or die right now uh, for perfection. <laughs> <laughs> Having a posy shouts posy. Yeah, man. Shouts Sh to all every uh, one of our Dragon Ball Fighters commentators that did work this weekend. Posy, acoustics. What were you gonna say, my man? Sorry. Oh, and everybody out here doing work, man. Um, you love to see it, man. The community definitely been putting in the work. Yeah, definitely, Jake Ryan. There was a bunch of fantastic people on Dragon Ball Fighters commentary this weekend. We've had a lot of fantastic commentary this weekend, and we've had a lot of fantastic players. And uh, this one's a little close to home for me. Y'all may have never heard of him. And a lot of us didn't believe in him in the beginning either. This 13-year-old kid started showing up to online tournaments two years ago at the beginning of the pandemic. Yours truly was his bracket demon, and now he's become the demon of SoCal. He used to be the appetizer, but now he's the main course. <laughs> Garlic bread! Oh, man, Jake, bro. Oh. All right, Jake, I see you with the bars. I'm glad. He was, he's, been, he's been dying to say that one. Yeah, yeah most you, definitely. <laughs> you love to see it. But, yeah, unbelievable. I didn't. I had no idea this, this dude was only 13. Oh, he wow. Was, he's 15 now. Oh, okay, yeah. now, okay. Wow. Incredible performances yesterday. And, yes, this is that uh, unusual. We are under the bottom rope. Okay. <laughs> new tech, new meta. Yeah. Man, that unusual team, so difficult to prepare for. Like we said earlier, it's going to be uh, Beerus, Super Baby 2, Krillin. Yeah, definitely not a team that you would... You know, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, Beerus and, and Baby definitely have some great synergy. But, but, and, and we, we know how strong of a character Krillin is. Um, but man, like it's, when you, you put those two together, it's, it's very rare that you see that, you know? Yeah, it's cool just to see like, the different take on uh, the team synergy, right? When yeah, you yeah. see those characters paired so often with other types, but the fact that they're put together like this and right. what a garlic bread does with the team, it really shows that yeah, yeah, yeah. there's so much chemistry in this game that you just have to dig deep for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely one of those teams that, you know, he's definitely uh, put together uh, with, 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 a, with a strategy in mind. But let's see how this unfolds here. One of these um, two players, unfortunately, will be going home right now. Perfection garlic bread. And, you know, not only to talk about Garlic Bread's age, he's 15 years old, started when he was 13, right? But the fact that he started during the Parsec era and the pandemic era, right, is a beautiful thing. How many uh, people got into fighting games during that two-year hiatus of offline events? And so many people are coming up to us and being like, CEO is my first tournament. That happened at Combo yeah. Breaker. I know that's going to happen at EVO, right? It's just a beautiful thing to see how much the fighting game community has grown despite us, every, everybody being locked away for two years. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really interesting to see that, you know? Like, like, like for us, these events are just like standard procedure. But for a lot of people, man, coming out to these big events for the first time, it, it's, it's a massive thing. And uh, for, for guys like Garlic Bread who are looking to, to, to get their breakout performance to make top eight right away, that's just, that's insane. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point, right? We see plenty of people come here just to, for the fun of it, right? They're just yeah. trying to play their game. They don't have any ambitions or desires about winning the tournament. Garlic Bread, first major offline, first time going outside for fighting games. Top eight performance. That yeah. is impressive stuff. Yeah, the West Coast is definitely breeding a lot of killers right now in Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, Shout-outs to Zane as well. Unfortunately, uh, he could not make it. But, yeah, of course, another amazing uh, player from out, from out there on the West Coast. Uh, I would have loved to see him in this bracket, but um, hopefully we see more of him in the very near future. Yeah, definitely. It's cool. It's, I like seeing the new generation of the West Coast players. We see Stealthy as well, obviously, has some Dragon Ball Origins doing his thing in Strive right now. Mm -hmm. 
So it's cool to see. But everybody in general, right, there's a, a lot of new generation coming up, right? Well, like we see Nitro and Legendary Prayer from New York, and we see the new players from the European regions, and even in Asia. Like, there's uh, just so many people still growing fighting games. And I mean, goddamn, keep doing it. Absolutely. You, know you love saying, to see please. it, man. They're, they're, they're the ones that are going to be, be, uh, be getting that big push in the near future, you know? You gotta, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got to hold it down. Stars. There you go. And, and that's one of the cool things about fighting games now, too, is that they are they have enough history and experience behind them that we can see generational battles and we can watch different generations come up and learn from the previous. Like it is a, it's real dope to see. Okay. So, so for perfection, of course, it is Double Fusions and your favorite character, in this case, Cell. That's cool. However, I can't root for him because garlic's from Soul Cap. So. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a fantastic match, nonetheless. And Beerus and, and Baby, man, the synergy these two have is, is, is scary. Let's yeah. see how it unfolds. Fusion, huh? Waistcoat, boys. Man, he's so cool. He is, bro. I couldn't even say anything. Honestly. He's so badass, bro. I'm just like, I'm basking in his glory. When I, when I first saw this character. But look. Ooh, oh, Wisp. Coming along for the intro. Oh my goodness, God of Destruction on deck right now. Let's get it, guys. All right, again, this is the last one of Losers Top 8, round one. Oh. Already on the defense. Does take the first Dragon Rush, though. My man is wide awake. For sure. Oh my goodness, there we go. Two for six. And misses the follow-up, though. That's unfortunate. Okay, good overhead block there. Chilling right now on defense. Oh, just... Uh, look at that Rocks assist, bro. That was ridiculous. Man, Krillin, dangerous with those. Oh, no, he was actually outside of that spark range. Yeah, didn't get affected by it, but either way, Perfection, get some breathing room. You know, a lot of drops here from both players, to be honest with you. That could be the big stage nerves, you know? Yeah, exactly. Both players, man, it's rare that you get a chance to, to, to get into one of these big tournament uh, stage positions this early on in, in your... It went garlic bread's case uh, in, in your Dragon Ball career. Yeah, exactly. And you got the atmosphere of the crowd, the commentaries yeah. being pumped in the arena. Like, yeah, 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 it's yeah. definitely a different environment. Absolutely. I think this is dead, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. With the one, two, three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that should do it right there. Gogeta 4 without the level up is not amazing, but I think this is still enough. Yeah. Beerus, God of Destruction down. I yeah. want to see the super baby, bro. Now being left, oh yeah, you're going to have to cover yourself in neutral with, the, with that Krillin assist. There it is. Oh, 2 one 4 s Oh, my goodness, the backup right there. My man didn't remember. Money come and go, but those projectiles always come back. Oh, and he got hit with the second hit of the auto combo. This is big damage right here. Forbidden starter. Do you get a proper conversion? Oh, my goodness. Yep. What in the world? Oh, yeah, we got these. Here we go! Oh, oh my God. God! When does it end, God, Rich? That man no! Giant swing on top of it. Let him know. Revenge death ball. That's gonna be it. Cell goes down. I was like, Yo, this is still going on. I love me some super baby combos, bro. Yep, definitely one of the most stylish characters in the entire game. My man spinning on him. Let him know. That was so good. Oh, look at this! All the way to the corner oh, there oh, of the six H. Oh, Yo. Yep, and this is going to be a, a nightmare to block. Krillin with those after images. All right, dashes the rock. Oh, where you going? Stay down. Double overhead, good block. And again, oh, wow! How do you defend against this guy? Mm, you thought you were going to reflect, but no, opened up. Gets another chance at life for now. And oh, Perfection actually gets the command grab on the blue beat. Yeah, blue combo, doesn't matter. Oh, here we go. Rejump on the way. Yeah, Perfection just trying to slow down this freight train of momentum. Garlic bread is built up. And here we go, got level three off rip. Kamehameha! Let's go, got the built-in fuzzy. Or oh, he's trying to bait something out, maybe a spark. Oh, there it is. Great defense from Garlic Bread, really disciplined. Waited until he commits to the EX move to spark him up. Oh, and we get in the extensions with Krillin. Woo! Let's go! All right, styling on him out here. Is that enough to kill? I think it is! Oh, my man got the extendos on deck for real. A couple of discs to his name, just one. Let's Super Baby finish him off. Oh, man, there we go. Gets the final flash for the kill. Garlic Bread looking so optimal. So damn optimal. I want to see it, bro. I want to see him spin on this man again. Oh, look at this. Yeah, man. He and he has the 6 H to switch up too, right? He's trying to get a little antsy. Yeah, he's trying to bait him in. He wants him to super dash so he can punish him for it. Oh, and he's actually using the, the yeah. Gogeta assist to build some bar. Went for the C assist. Mm -hmm. Catches him this time. Oh! oh! Extension! Man! 
That was so good. Man, these are the real Splash Brothers right there. You see the range on that conversion? That was Mad. ridiculous. Mad far, bro. Garlic bread with some optimal play right there, and he has won the crowd's respect with that performance. For real, he's in the crowd's like, we ain't never seen some shit like this that, before. That like, was, what? Yeah, that was wild. <laughs> Yo, those super baby combos, damn. Man. Yeah, I'm just so impressed. I really love these young cats too, uh, how disciplined they are on defense. They're so, uh, like, not quick to panic. They're very just calm and collected in the moment. You're just getting overwhelmed by assists and Dragon Ball Fighter's character pressure. And you saw he didn't spark as soon as he could have. He waited till the person was committed to a move to escape that situation. Absolutely. Okay. Perfection will go to the character select screen because, bro, a performance like that, it's, you got to stop the momentum yeah, yeah, somehow. Yeah. Just use every, you know, use every rule in the book. Character select, just slow it down. Yeah, hitting rematch in that scenario, not nah, not for perfection for sure. Man, that was. Whew. Yeah, you got you got to stop that for sure. Garlic bread, yeah, it's super sick play. You can mm. see what we were talking about before with that weird team synergy, something that you uh, are just not going to be prepared for because you're not going to run into anybody playing this. Mm, absolutely. Can be ready for those individual characters, but you see the way he plays the Super Baby, the fact that he can get those conversions from long distance. Just oh. gives him so many options. And right now, Garlic Bread with that first blood strike again. Listen, bro, you can sit in the lab all day if you want to, but you can't prepare for the rocks, bro. Krillin, <laughs> yeah. you can't prepare for the... Oh, what a... Yo, the Super Dash challenge on the Raw Tag, that was so good. Get that out of here. Garlic Bread going to set up shop again. Oh, trying to throw the rocks at him. All right. Here we go, perfection, sparked up, sell right now, catches Beerus trying to escape. Says, where you going? Oh, say. there you go, 6S extension as well. Man, caught him on the big ears. The 2S, sorry. Okay, here we go. Oh, all right, all right, all right, here we go. Cool. I want to see the party start after this. Let me get a command grab. Mm. Okay. Ooh, we'll try for a delay. Blocking a spark there. Oh, man, he was on the other side. How did he get there? God, you know, you got me. Oh, unfortunate drop there. The garlic bread. All the key blood enemies. Here we go. Gonna get the combo once again. Extends. He didn't even need assists. <laughs> that was so sick. He, he, extending so well off these six H's. Oh my goodness, Beerus almost spoiling that raw tag as well. Garlic bread's assist calls are very impressive. Yep. Oh, the challenge there at the right time. Man, yeah. Super, Super Baby, his normals are not amazing, but he does have the range on those. Oh, spin. What, what did 21 say? Spin the block like there ain't nowhere to park? Yeah. Go. Knocks him down. And he's so comfortable zoning with Baby. Look at this. He's almost saying, I dare you to Super Dash. Please Super Dash at me. I dare you. Yeah, we've seen it, man. There don't test you the go. Reactions. I was just going to say, don't do it. Bro, I'm telling you, that's what he wanted the whole time. That boy, that's 15 years old on the reactions right there. You ain't Super Dashing on him. And look, the dash up gets a little tiny bit of extra meter. Final flash, Destructo Disc, gonna do it. Garlic Bread looking impressive. This man ain't even have his Kinson Yeti yet, bro. You think you can super dash on him? Hey, oh. There we go, that Do Doctor Doom-esque beam on the falling uh, Kamehameha. Okay, he got him, he got him. All right, here we go. Rolling Crush, knockdown. Ooh. Oh, Yo. the Solar Flare! He's so smart, bro. Not a real DP, but we got a 360 hitbox on it. So you give me space, you're going to get paid for it. 360 hitbox, that's it. And now here we go. Pressure now, Invisible Mix. Dashes up on him. The fake assist, cool Dragon Rush. Garlic Bread going to take down Cell. This guy's mad good, bro. <laughs> he is very, He's very a strong. demon, bro. Oh, man. Now three characters to one. Perfection, only a little bit of life left. Oh, Beerus trying to put him in the grave. Oh, baby, B assist. Yo. I don't care if it got nerfed. Baby B looking super clean right there for Garlic Bread. Who's going to take it? Sending Perfection out with a seventh place finish. Wow. Man, Baby B, I love the way Garlic Bread's team just approaches the neutral, man. There's so many things to annoy you. Like you said, the rocks, the Baby B assist. Even the beer assist is super annoying to play around. Yeah, I really love the way he constructed this team. That was so clean. So that will be Garlic Bread playing against Hook Gang God uh, on the other side oh. of the loser semifinals. That's going to be a, yo, that's going to be a crazy one for sure. That's a real test uh, for, for, for Garlic Bread for sure. Yeah, exactly, right? We talked about how stable Hook Gang God is, how strong he is just fundamentally as a Dragon Ball Fighters player. So you got to make sure that your fundamentals are on point because you're not going to be able to open him up from neutral easily at all. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt, man. These games have been so clean. I'm really, really enjoying this, man. Some of that... <laughs> It's just hard not to get hyped for those, those combos, you know. <laughs> yeah, like this guy was like, the spit. Oh, man, it's too sick.
The acid rain loops, man. The acid rain loops are my favorite for sure. Like the loops, and then he just got nasty stuff off that. He still got the, like the level three mix and all that. Yeah, so definitely. And it looks like I think we're gonna take a look at the bracket because we've seen how it progressed so far today. The top eight, you can see winners finals already set. Wawa versus Nitro did it in a dominant fashion over Hook and God, but Nitro squeaking by Kasuga 2-1, and now Shanks 2-0 over Kite, and Garlic Bread also advancing into that loser's quarterfinal spot. No doubt. And there you go. You can see it in loser's quarterfinals right there. Kasuga Shanks will be uh, team Team Europe. Kasuga was saying that he wanted the he wanted grand finals to be all European, but man. It's not going to be uh, an easy path for sure. Man, that winner's final, I'm lo so looking forward to Wild Wild versus Nitro. That's going to be insane. Yeah, most definitely. And for the European Grand Finals right there, it's going to be one eliminated in our next match for Kasuga and Shanks. For sure. Man, down there as well, you see it. Hook Gang God versus Garlic Bread. That's going to be... <laughs> man, if you... <laughs> That team is going to be such a nightmare, I imagine, for Hook. I can already see his reaction, like, you know, like, already, <laughs> after, after watching that game, come on, bro. Yeah, like, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to play against this guy, bro. Yeah. Oh <laughs> this is the whole ass Mickey Mouse Playhouse, bro. It's <laughs> not even just Michael. <laughs> but coming up on the stage, it is going to be that European showdown, like we just mentioned. Kasuga and Shanks going to have to throw down here. Yeah, this, um, is, this is interesting because we're going to get European versus European, then American versus American, then America versus Europe, and then it's going to be guaranteed another America versus Europe and loser semis. Yes, top six is yeah. definitely looking kind of fire, I can't lie. Very, very exciting stuff, guys. Yes. The Dragon Ball Fighters, it's, it's crazy to see like like the energy that this, this game... Um, it's, it, it just doesn't seem to, to die out, man. It's really, really cool. No. And of course, like, like Lab Coat, you know, did kind of uh, very, very questionable, like uh, some of the some of the designs on that character. Yeah, but man, sure. like, like out here uh, as CEO, it's, it's really beautiful to see this game come together, man. Yeah, I'm glad that, you know, as a community, they were like, you know, it's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's it, not fun. And we're going to take care of our health mentally and be like, just get this character out of here for right now. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. You know, I was, I was chatting to, you know, I was playing in pools. I was chatting to everybody there. And they're just like, yeah, you know what? Like, I'm really, this is this is really cool. It's definitely fueled <laughs> the fire uh, of, of, of the passion for this game. Yeah, I think uh, considering what Combo Breaker was, was like it was seven out of eight, right, of the top eight had... Android 21, like yes. you, you just gotta nod, man. It, it just be like that. It's, 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 yeah, it's a bit much. Um, but yeah, we will be seeing. Uh, oh no, she was just on the screen. Banned, banned. <laughs> Who's that? Shanks, banned. DQ. Yeah, give joke. him an automatic L at least right now. <laughs> okay, he gotta go into the set 01. <laughs> just for bringing up our trauma. For sure. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Um, but yeah. Uh, this will be a great match for sure, and I'm looking forward to seeing what what the, what the patch will bring. You know, coming up uh, towards e uh, evolution. Um, yes. That's going to be very very exciting. It's going to be almost a fresh game. We got we got to wait and see what they do. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see. It, most definitely. We're going to get everybody locked and loaded. Shanks with the typical squad. Kasuga with the typical squad. Okay. Here we go. Kasuga very. Uh, he's asking him. I was gonna say, specific stage or a specific song? Peculiar about the song. Oh. Android 18 theme, okay. <laughs> of course. You said that was his favorite character. It's his favorite. Right? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like, he's been, like, like, ever since I've known this guy, that's the one character he's never changed. That's awesome. Always honestly. 18. All right. Once again, this will be a great, great match. And that's one thing that Dragon Ball as a game brings to it, too, just because of how strong the IP is, right? Like, people oh, have love for these characters that go so deep. Yes, man. for sure, man, for sure. And I knew it would happen, man. With Dragon Ball Fighters, you see so many, like, the rise of so many new players just because, you know, so, some kid decided to play it because it's a Dragon Ball game, and it just so happens that they turn out to be extremely gifted in fighting games. Yeah, it's awesome, bro. It's, this game has brought a lot to the scene, 100%. Okay, here we go. Yeah, a bit too far for Oh, he does spend. The meter there, oh, that was not worth the spend, but it doesn't matter. Kasuga looking to try and get something out of it. I love how comfortable Kasuga looks in the chaoticness. Like, he's just so down to play wild with the Kasuga. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he, he's definitely good at Unger. Like, yeah, Kasuga's yeah. all, yeah, he, he knows how to play like that. He came out to the monkey bee. Let's not forget. Let's not forget. Yeah, man. This guy plays against guys like Jiller on the regulars, bro. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Going to get that full combo. 2 3 6 S. Knockdown time. Oh, the staggered string there from Kefla. Say the manual times five L on the delay wake up catches him. Yep, and that two three six. Oh, man. I think this is dead. Oh man, I honestly think three. What? That's what I'm talking about. Kasuga ready for the raw tag. That was so clean. Looking for that, and that's not easy to do, guys. Here we go. My man Shanks does like to get his raw tag on. Oh, uh, for sure. Prepared. Yeah, you need to be looking for those. If you know someone does that, if you know their tendencies, you need to call them out on that range. Oh, in front there to reflect. Okay, look at that. The Hellgate out. Oh, my God. Bro, 
Oh, you're thinking about the Hellgate too much. He just throws them in time and space. Go, knock down time, mid screen, throw him up. Shit! Level three, what's the pressure gonna be here? Kalsika might even spark, you know. Yeah. yeah I respect that, honestly. Oh, wow. Shanks ready for that empty vanish. Bro, these guys are challenging. Air to airs on point for both players. Oh, the oh barrier. My. Oh my goodness, wow. Kalsika, and he loves him a barrier, bro. <laughs> Almost lost my mind, to be honest. Oh, he keeps trying it, but instead just gets the 2L with the raw tag. Yeah, and Android 21 will convert very, very well off of those. Straight into the EX dunk. Yeah, got a little bit, just one ability so far. Oh, my goodness. And so he scary. Use that ability, too, to maneuver around the base Vegeta. That's right. Here we go. Staggering the string here. Keeps it safe. Goes behind. Oh, no, that was an unfortunate. Yeah. That was the heat. I don't think he wanted guard cancel. No, I think he's one of the assist. But as yeah. you mentioned, because of the cross-up right there, he ended up getting the guard cancel input instead. Yeah, that's unfortunate right there. And now, look, Shanks has some of the best pressure in the world. Does he have an assist? I don't think he has an assist. He can still go for the rolling crush, though. Let's see what's going to be. DR! Man, you're thinking too much about the EX rolling crush, perhaps. You get clipped by the DR. There we go. That's going to do it. is going to lose Kefla. First character down. And this has been a long match. Yeah, uh, yeah. Only just now the first character going down. You see, I mean, despite Shanks being in the lead here, that base Vegeta unhealthy, that Janemba is not looking that straight either in terms of how many combos is going to be able to survive. Oh, EX snatch right there. Here we go. Gets it. This is going to be a big option. Okay, yeah. And he's still got that. Oh, no. The Android, 18, uh, Android 17 got smoked. Here we go. Pressure. Went for another one. Oh, Yo. Goodness. That was not only a call out, but an immediate punish as well from Shanks. The that airborne jump S. Bro, the adaptamentations from Shanks. <laughs> this is what we've been talking about with this guy. He just knows what you're going to do. Nah. So good. And that will do it right there. Final character coming in for Kasuga. Shanks looking one step ahead in this. And that's one of my favorite things about fighting games, is seeing those strong defensive choices. Shanks being able to take a 3-1 character advantage because of it. OK, here we go. The challenge on the dash up here. The delayed. Oh, wow. He actually got the hit, but Shanks tech the DR non nonetheless. OK, assist. Double overhead. Yeah, Janemba Jump H not the best. Yeah, he's just reacting to a bash with one of his own to keep the momentum and keep the corner. Yep. Oh my goodness. And the Hellgate out. Teleports. Yo, that was invisible, Mix. Yeah, How not, did he block that? I have no idea because I definitely got hit. For sure. Press one in the chat if you got hit by that. We all know you did. Don't, don't even lie to me. Everyone got hit. Okay. Here we go right now. Kasuga once again, just trying to control space here, trying to keep himself alive. Like when it comes down to it, oh man, that was super clean right. He gets a hit and he's going to need to spend one bar here. Like a lot of players in this kind of situation where it's like one character against the whole team, some players might, might crack, you know, might just start going for raw super dashes and stuff like that. Kasuga will still just play lame. He will still just do his thing, throw projectiles and wait. Yeah, as he should, right? Yeah. He, he's still got a lot of time left on the clock. And these characters, yeah, they cannot survive much up against the Android 21. They yeah. live through this combo, but not another one. Yeah, and he's going to go for the level three here. Going to get the rest of the stocks and the God Oki. Which side is it going to be, guys? Come on. Where's it going to go? What's up, bro? Oh, cross up! Oh, and deepest. Wow, so hard to block, bro. Street Fighter cross-ups, bro. The baggy pants. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, stagger in right now. Shanks. Oh! It's not a two-way start up. It actually got stuffed by the projectile. Yep. Going to go straight into the level three. The Shine. And let's see what the mix is going to be on this. Shanks. The floor. Oh, my goodness. Yo, Shanks. Stop. Ridiculous. Damn. My man's ankles is dust now. Bro. Left, right, left, right. That was nasty. Oh, this guy's got mixed for days. I'm telling you, man, his team is, is single player mode. That was good too. That was good locking out uh, Kasuga, giving not giving him a chance to play because he had the barrier as well. Yes. And like he's so good at using barrier on the Android 18. I know with the 21, he'll sneak it out as well. Absolutely. All right. Back in now, Kasuga. Gonna have to. Uh, I mean, it wasn't a, it wasn't a, like very one-sided. Yeah. But um, I mean, he lost two characters. But he had to make a comeback, you know. And if you get anytime you can you can uh, you can just keep your team healthy and not have to worry about trying to make those difficult comebacks. You know, that's a good sign. Okay. Shanks, comfortable playing the neutral, just trying to stop this Kefla. Oh no, the reflect got punished right there with the two M. This is huge. Yeah, I guess I'm mean, even thinking that the projectile is going to keep coming, but stop short. Yep, okay, goes for the jump S pressure. He actually had the hit again. 
Yo, the Dragon Rush. Kasuga was unable to tech, and he's going to lose that Kefla. The Patara Fusion going to go down. Man, that is rough. Kefla already the leader from the game yet again. This is where Kasuga found himself last time. He needs to not have a, such a, a weighed down start to his matches. Yeah. Oh, look at the round start. 2S with the assist behind it. Oh, he actually smoked 18. Yeah, because oh. of that 18 lockdown, what a big tech. Yeah, go for that perfect attack. Barrier on deck once again. All trying to chase with that EX perfect attack. Goes low, though, this time. That was so good. The EX perfect attack into the Janemba assist, too, to make him guess once he landed. Ridiculous play from Shanks. Speaking of guessing, let's see which side Shanks is going to go for. Kasuga probably going to spark here. No, he's holding it down. He's just waiting. OK, eventually. Oh, the barrier saved Kasuga for a second. Yeah, he ended up absorbing the EX perfect attack. We finally find a projectile to advantage confirm. Okay, here we go. Bring him down. Level three. Let's see what the situation is going to be. Shanks might still... Let's see if he holds it to the defense or if he sparks. Okay, going to spend the spark. Double barriers. Oh my goodness, great defense from Shanks. Don't just oh. going to run around that, but that starts with a standing M. Yeah, that's it. And right, here we go. That's two level ones. I think it's going to be close to sparking regeneration. He's still alive. Oh, wow. Oh. And immediately trying to go into the barrier again, a little bit too thirsty for that. Shanks utilizing that command grab, building the level three with that OTG as well. Okay, there it is, the level three for Shanks. Oh, I mean, it worked out. He was just trying to check the DR, but if he's going to get a full combo from it, then why not? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. On the 17, a bunch of projectiles to cover her approach, trying to get the stagger pressure going, but no, Shanks just with the fadeaway and the conversion. Huge stuff right now for Shanks. Knocked down. Using that fireball for the Oki, but okay, Kasuga gets out. All in 17 for the pressure, and there it is. Can't forget that, Andrew 17, that regardless of how many characters you have, you can always count on 17 for those assists. Facts, they're the ride or die, the Bonnie and Clyde of Dragon Ball Fighters, and Vegeta down. Oh, here we go. Two characters apiece now. Kasuga doing a great job of firing back here. This is honestly, like, still a pretty even situation. Good tech on the DR as well. Really, really great defense from the air to air to the cross under to the DR tech. Uh, what in the world? That's the thing. Anytime you know you're you're in the air near to sell, it could be that perfect attack. So you need to be super careful how you approach this character when he comes to being in the, in the skies. Oh, the stagger. Yep. Trying to open him up right now. Knock, knock. Oh, no punish. Oh, the barrier working out for Kasuga. Great stuff. And look, and he got the he got a little bit of blue life back there. Killing with that command grab. Ever optimal with Kasuga. Man, it really takes everything into account. Spinning all his abilities with that EX is a big damage starter if it hits. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh. Okay, there we go. Janem beats. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Here comes Android 18 right now. The final character for both for both players. I need that falling back remix with Janemba on it. Yeah, SoundCloud ID. <laughs> need that. Ooh. Another one! Go! Oh, the cross up works out for Shanks, and with that, he is going to send Kasuga back on the plane to France. And you see it right there the respect between these two guys, two of Europe's finest coming out to play. Shanks, with a big sigh of relief, going to advance on to the loser semi finals. Yeah, two old but two extremely close games, right? It was looking dominant for shanks early but Kasuga brought it back made it down to last character last character and then this one too really was even neck and neck throughout the whole match and shanks able to pull it out at the end kind of making the janemba come back on the 2v1 and doing the damn thing yeah i'm telling you bro janemba uh, anka is so effective he's yeah. such a strong character has some really really good stuff oh man you can see it. hey you love to see it that's the spanish boys right there holding it down shanks Got to let him Good know stuff. El Padre stays alive. The Spanish Inquisition stays alive. I can't wait to see him, man. He's a, a hell of a player. I know a lot of people like watching him, and he is going to be making his way. It's a loser semi, so guaranteed top four. Yeah, that's right. Top four position for Shanks. But, let's, you know, he doesn't want it to end there. No. He doesn't want, want another Evo scenario. Fourth place finish for him there. He wants to keep things going and do the best that he can. Um, man, like with that set play team, it's, it's, it, it can happen for sure. Most definitely, we are getting the two U.S. representatives in the lower, lower bracket, the loser's bracket, onto the stage now. It is going to be Hook Gang God versus Garlic Brand. And, man, as you mentioned, Hook Gang God, I know he's going to be lamenting the fact that he's got to play against this strange-ass team that Garlic Brand is bringing to the table. Yeah, that's it. It's definitely going to be a difficult uh, one for sure. But no doubt, this is going to be a great match nonetheless. And I, I, 
I feel like as of recent, we're having a lot of these guys kind of show up out of nowhere, just doing work, you know. Like, like, like I, don't, I don't know what's in the water over there on the West Coast, but we had <laughs> Zane come out and do damage, and then we had garlic bread pull up. Then it, it just keeps on going. Yeah, and I mean the, the, the crazy beeruses keep on coming, bro. <laughs> And it just seems like they're doing wild things too, like the garlic bread, like we said, like really his first appearance in an offline event here, making top eight, 2 0 over Perfection in the first round of losers as well. And yeah, as you mentioned, Zane's performance at Combo Breaker, just completely ridiculous, not only in the USA versus Europe. Uh, 15 versus 15, but also in the bracket itself, just Zane doing the damn thing. So big shout outs to him as well. Hopefully, we see him at Evo. Right now, Garlic Bread trying to take up that West Coast crown, that mantle that Zane had uh, put down, that flag that he had stamped in the ground at Carmel Breaker. That's right. Garlic Bread, you know, had to, he had some tough games to get here to this point. Had to defeat uh, Legendary Pred uh, on, on his route here, you know, and that's, that's no, no easy feat, the Combo Breaker champ. Um, but, you know, he wants to continue. Garlic Bread wants to keep himself here in the tournament, but going up against him is not going to be easy. Hook Gang God, one of the best in the biz right now. Yeah, definitely going to be a button check here. For sure. I would like to see my man Hook on that hit one day, though, you know? Maybe one day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know what it is about it. Yeah. I think they could gel. I think they could have some uh, some chemistry between the two. Could happen. I can <laughs> nah. see it. I can see it. I can see it. No, take it. <laughs> 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 okay. Thanks for entertaining me. Thanks for humoring me, though. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, All we're right. going to make sure we're nice and warmed up again. This is a top eight action here, so nobody wants to flub. Nobody wants to have their tournament life ended on an execution error or yeah. a controller mishap. Yeah, man. Come on. Button checks. We're going back to the Marvel 3 days, bro. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Got to uh, plink dash for five minutes before we just, can actually start our match. Yeah, literally. <laughs> you, just, you just see, like, the movement. Yeah. My man. Okay. I, I feel like Hook been wearing that for, like, the whole time, too. He's like, yeah, I'm not taking this off. He's repping, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, there we go. Astro headset is on, and we are going to get straight into our next loser's quarterfinal game. Who is going to advance onto the loser semis to face off against Shanks for a chance to make it into top three? Let's find out, guys. We've got Garlic Bread here on the left with that Beerus, Super Baby 2 Krillin team, and of course, Hook Gang God rocking that signature. Base Vegeta, Broly, Piccolo. Let's go, guys. Oh, intro's letting it rock again. Let's go. Oh, we just woke up. Oh. Not like this. <laughs> oh, I love this guy, Base Vegeta. I mean, technically, Vegeta should know Beer. Like, even Base Vegeta would know who Beerus was. <laughs> just, just, sorry, I'm just being a nerd for a second. But all right, here we go. But yeah, we're gonna see. I'm very interested to see how Hook kind of maneuvers around this funky neutral from uh, Yo, jump, 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 two H whiffing. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hey, yeah, right. we, we do have uh, Hook and God on the players who signed a comic print on player one. Yes, we will get those names switched for you in a moment, guys. But right now, it's a happy birthday. Oh, uh, well, it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. My man had to quickly, he was like, yo, I don't want Broly to take no more damage. Those situations are awful when, like, you're blocking and the assist is there. Okay, here we go. Bro, and he used the, the orb at the end there to defer the conversion. Okay, he goes behind. Ooh. Pressure. Oh, okay. Garlic Bread sparks up as well. The 2-H. Oh, and he put out the oars right in ahead of time to bait him into it. Okay, just waiting for that tag. Perhaps it came eventually there. Yeah, he's going to get the follow-up here. Acid Rain extension now. Look at this. That is a ridiculous extension. So yeah. You delay the, the, the vanish so that you don't use the smash. Oh, man. Okay, you got the, the bean. Oh, yo. Opened up again. Beerus, yo. Love these Beerus combos. Oh, we forgot about the second ore, brother. Mm -hmm. There we go. Knockdown time. Uh, toss him to the skies. Get the level three on. Oh, got meter burning a hole in his pocket right there. So I'm glad he's using it. Ooh, oh! The moon jump float over right there. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, base Vegeta, such a solid character, doesn't really need assists even to, to keep his, his pressure on. The tap on the forehead like that. As you mentioned, this is going to be an immense test for Garlic Bread, right? New to the scene, this is a pillar of the community. Yep, not going to be an easy task. Okay, there we go. And look, so so he's he's like taunting you into super dashing, you know? Yeah. He wants you to, like we saw what he does. Oh no! Oh, no follow up. The rocks. He gets away. 
Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, Hook nearly got the extent. I think it would have dash up 5M, but unfortunately got a 6M. Okay. Oh, I love this switch up from Hook. You see how he's just smothering him with projectiles right now. He's not trying to let the super baby game start. Absolutely. There we go. Tap DR. Hook gang God. That's another character down for Garlic Bread. It's going to be Solo Krillin against the entire squad for Hook. That was an extremely great adjustment from Hook in the neutral gameplay. Now Garlic Bread with the Krillin. See if we can do it. Oh my goodness. Full in S. There we go. The pressure. Nice tech on the Dragon Rush. Garlic Bread still alive on this. Don't count Krillin out. We've seen what this character can do. Most definitely. Now Hook got gone. Oh yeah, covering yeah. his projectiles with the Vanish. Yeah, he realized that would have been a devastating jump in. He might have even got a happy birthday on that one. Yeah, he didn't oh. want to risk that. And either way, he risked something right there and he got opened up for it. Oh my goodness. And bro, Krillin, let me tell you, this character's mid-screen BNBs, he has some of the highest damage in the entire game. Look at that, that's one character down, and uh, Piccolo and Super Broly, or excuse me, regular Broly, also one hit away. That's right. You just you add a limit break into the equation, Krillin becomes a powerhouse as an, of an anchor. Oh, and again, just the uh, unorthodox zoning from Garlic Bread, catching Hook and got off. Yeah, let's go, and he's going to be able to get the kill here. Knock down, Destructo Disc. Yes, gets the kill. And just like that, he had the crowd coming alive again. They want to see this underdog story continue. Absolutely. Oh, the the Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, tap the dome piece. Oh, but he oh. mistimed it. Okay, here we go, Hook Gang God. Look at this character. Laugh it up. It's so funny. It's so funny how strong Broly is. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. It's a kill. Oh, he the tried. delay. Oh, my goodness. You saw how we finished it with the throw? Oh, man, Hook. Send a message to him, Hook. Exclamation mark on it, man. Throwing him down. Damn, my man skidded. <laughs> <laughs> he skidded across the floor on his head, bro. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here we go, second game back in there now. Yeah, you can hear how much the crowd want garlic bread. They want this underdog story, as you said, to continue. The Dragon Rush connects. That Beerus could be in trouble early on. Yeah, he'll get got the orb out, so you want to block, and that leads you to get in Dragon Rush. Nah, you use DR to start the combo, bro. Yeah. Come on, Hook. Pay attention, bro. A little bit, a little weird execution there from Hook. Or decision there. Oh, the, bro, I'm telling you, the rocks. Oh, Dwayne Johnson and into the baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Yeah, we're gonna start the Beerus games. We're gonna bring him to the ground. We got the baby assist as well. Let's see how he sets up shop. Not gonna use it quite yet. EX, yeah, Hook wants none of that. Oh, there we go. That be assist. Oh my goodness, Hook with a fall-in button from Big Green. Here we go. Great time to do it as well. After he blocked the super baby assist, Garlic Bread definitely thought he was going to be able to take his turn, but instead, he's a sword normal for his trouble, and that's a dead character. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just making sure with the, the full squad there. Super Namekian. Bro, I'm telling you, Piccolo can do damage. Here we go. Two characters remaining for Garlic Bread, but, bro, the synergy between these two that we saw um, earlier on, it can. I, I'm, I'm still a believer for Garlic Bread. Oh, for sure. I mean, we talked about the range with the true Splash Brothers right here, Krillin and Baby. Oh, and there it is, full screen yeah. conversions yet again. Yeah, there we go. It gets a full combo on that. Not the most damage, but it's about the situation. There it is. Oh, my goodness. My man didn't know which way he was going to go. Bro. The Rock, bro. Yes, Dwayne I'm The Rock. Invisible mix. Oh, baited. He's safe. He's safe. Yeah, so it looks like he's safe for me. Oh, Wait, what did he do? He Bridge, he what did he do? I don't know. Oh, he's going to visit Spark. Oh, Hook knew. He was like, you want that blue life back so bad. Okay, here we go. Oh, we actually got. Okay, Brooklyn really out there. The Spark is there for Krillin. The oh, two edge what? from Hook and God. Man, the call out. My oh, man with the commitments right there. He's putting a ring on oh. it. Oh, Gabby, talk ah. to this man. Oh, my goodness, Hook and God. Okay, big body right now. The legendary Super Saiyan is cooking. Oh, and the stomp coming up. No, misses it. Okay, Garlic Bread out. Goes behind. Oh, okay. he's trying to press the button on that. No, sir. EX after image. The challenge. Krillin so going down. Solo baby against Hook's team here. This is going to be so hard for Garlic Bread. But the crowd, come on, make some noise if you want Garlic Bread to make this. Yeah, the crowd is behind the man. 
the boy, the 15 Wait, what? Year old. Yeah, I don't know. It Wait, what? Toss him down into a raw tag. I, maybe he just wants to send a message. He's like, I'm tired of your zoning, fam. I'll do some zoning. Oh, God. He can't do it up against the Super Saiyan, the Super Baby. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He hates the Saiyans, bro. He hates oh. them. Oh, my goodness. Baby going off right now. Throw him down. Final, I'm going to use your own move against you. Final flash. Spin the block twice like that. Ain't nowhere to park. A garlic bread. Take it down base Vegeta. Okay. Oh, this, bro, this matchup right now looking like a nightmare. That shield, that projectile invincible shield. Yeah. You see how much garlic bread relies on the zoning, the projectiles of Super Baby that nullifies it. And now Hogan God putting him on death's door. There we go, the light grenade goes behind the cross up, gets the hit, and that's going to do it. Hook Gang God advances on it. <laughs> <laughs> the big sigh bro. of relief. He's like, I've made it past whatever this team is. Man, scary, scary stuff. But Garlic Bread, what a performance here. Fifth place finish. Man, I'm, I'm, I, I think this, this guy just made some new fans. Oh, 100%. First time outside. Top eight in Dragon Ball Fighter CEO 2022. Yes, he put on such a performance, guys. Let's, the Hook and God is your winner. But let's give it up for Garlic Bread. Come on, yeah, guys. Let me hear it for Garlic Bread, baby. Jake Ryan giving him the big hug. As you heard Jake Ryan talk about, right? Definitely close to his heart. Saw this man come up 13 years old. Was his T.O. Oh! Yeah, you can hear it. Oh, that's awesome, man. You love to see it, man. Man's got a whole ass chant. And that's, that's important, because like you said, right, that's the future stars right there. That kid, 15 years old, he's hearing, he's hearing that love, he's feeling that, he's going to keep grinding for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. They definitely want to see more of you in the future, sir. So keep your grind on. Yeah. Man, that team was looking so sick. That, it was, man. That was super cool. And I mean, great stuff from Hook Gang God, right, bringing in the Broly. It was like, barrier. You are really good at this unorthodox zoning stuff like that. I'm just going to nullify that outright. Yeah, he played that matchup like like super, super good. Like, But, but what's Baby going to do? You know, he's, yeah. gonna, he's not going to keep throwing projectiles. The, the barrier was yeah. there. It's, it's a rough one for sure. Um, and that just, that's, that's just Hook's team. Like, he's got really, really good synergy on that. And that it, he really showed why Z Broly is one of the best characters in the game still. Yeah. 100%. Like, not even a, a question in my mind. So, big ups to Hoogie. He's going to be advancing, obviously, to our losers at semifinals. But before we get to that, the winner's finals is here, Tyrant. Come on. We had the domestic battles. We had European versus Europe. We had America versus America. But now, we're back to the international competition. We have Wawa versus Nitro up next. Oh, my goodness. What an absolute banger of a match, man. Nitro. Uh, of course, US's finest player, Wawa, I could be the best out of France right now. Okay. You know, there's, there's, there's some serious competition there in the discussion. You've got guys like Kane and, and Yasha, but Wawa, you know, he's always just striving to be the best and uh, do his do his work. He's just, he's just happy to play. Um, <laughs> but going up against Nitro, bro, this is going to be a clash of the Titans and a run back from Combo Breaker. Oh, that's yep. a good point. But I didn't think about that. Something a bit different this time, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Sans Lab Code. Not here today, so we're going to see... Who really battles it out when that character's on the sidelines? Who comes with it today? And yeah, I mean, we talked about Wawa before, right? When Wawa is in a casual environment, I mean, I really think he looks like the best player in the entire world. Oh, like, man. Like, when it comes to that, like, like outright, like, by a significant margin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can, he can literally play, a, a, like, a number of teams against you, and it's, it's very difficult to, to prepare for. But, man, the crowd here is going to be electric, going to be super behind Nitro. You can hear him already mm -hmm. really trying to get behind their man right now. And that, yo, but bro, let me tell you, this is the kind of thing that can... So while we all know he's an amazing player, right? Yeah. Sometimes up there on the stage, as you alluded to earlier, Ringe, it can really get to him. You know, he somehow, sometimes doesn't perform to his the best of his ability mm -hmm. just because, you know, being up there on the main stage with all these people, it can be very, very scary. Yeah, for it, sure. For sure. It's an alien environment. It's yes. not something we're used to as humans. It's not a position you get put in often. And But that's what's cool about Wawa continuing to play these games is that he's gotten to be in that position more and more, right? We see the Dragon Ball Fighters World Championships, all the events that have taken place in France. He's been coming offline more and more with more and more eyes on him, and he's gotten comfortable uh, because of that and because of that progression. So we're going to see if he can take that into this and get into grand finals. Because on the other hand, Nitro, I think despite maybe also coming up in Dragon Ball and getting that spotlight shown on him, he's from New York, man. Mm. And these New York players, they just uh, live for this. They are bred for the spotlight. So That's facts. I just feel like Nitro is already comfortable in this position despite his infancy compared to some of our other experienced players. Yeah, it's, re it's really cool to see actually. Nitro is, is just a very, very calm player. Like, like up there, I, I feel uh, like... He, he, I've definitely spoke to him before. He says it, it can be scary up there, but he just plays his game. You, you would never tell. 
You would yeah. never know yeah. when, like, when, when the way he plays. He's just very chilling. You know, he's chilling. That's one of the beautiful things I think about competition is that a lot of the time there's so much on the line, right? Whether it's pride, whether it's money, whether it's a title that you really want. But once the game starts, I feel like so much of that melts away because mm. this is what they've been practicing for, right? Exactly. You fall back into what you've been doing all those grinding hours. You are in your comfort zone at that point because this is what you live and breathe. Exactly. These guys, they practice this game. They honed their craft. And now it's time to play on the world stage here at CEO 2022. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody in the chat. Everybody here in the arena as well. Like, it's been a great top eight so far, but we're not done yet. We're going to get this winner's final match started in just a moment. It's indeed one that I'm very much looking forward to. Again, some of the finest across the world right now. Arguably the best in France against the best in America here for winner's finals. Absolutely, yes. Of course, a button check coming up for you right now because look who is at the top right of your screen, guys. <laughs> Woo! Band out. Again, why Jeez. we got to keep bringing this character up, bro? Come on, man. I don't even want to see her in a button check. I'm That's not going to lie. That's what I'm saying. The trauma is there. I don't need to relive this. <laughs> like, bro, I should be building you my next therapist appointment for bringing this character on screen. I'm doing minus 21 damage just by looking at the screen. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. My commentary's getting debuffed while she's out here, bro. <laughs> like, come on, son. <laughs> No doubt, no doubt. But yeah, yeah this will be an excellent match. Like two of, the, two of the best in the world, honestly. Like definitely two of the guys that are in the discussion for best player out there right now. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, for sure. Not even the best in their region, but like, literally. Yeah, yeah. Two that, uh, Hall of Famers when it comes to this game. Yeah, yeah, two of the best ever in yeah. this, honestly. All right, let's see who's going to be for Wawa. Will it be that Double Fusion's Trunks team? I'm interested to see. Because there's nobody that switches teams up like this. Like. I feel like this is the try-hard team, but I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see what you guys thought. Yeah, and that's always the thing, too, when you uh, have a player that has a lot of characters in their repertoire, right? One of them is the main chicken. One yep. of them is uh, what they're going to put their, their money on the line, their life on the line with. And so far for Wawa, that's looking like double fusion trunks. He is hesitating for a second, though. He's thinking about it. We know he plays a lot of different characters. Adult Gohan being one of them. Like, he plays literally every character there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the entire roster is at his disposal right okay. now. Okay. He's going for Trunks. Okay, he's going for that C assist Trunks. All right, here we go. This is going to be a great match, guys. Are we ready? Oh, man. Cell Games Arena. There we go. All right, the stage is set, guys. This is going to be an exciting winner's finals match. Nitro versus Wawa. Let me hear you guys. Yo, let me hear it, baby. This is winner's finals international competition. Two of the finest to have ever played Dragon Ball Fighters here trying to take the CEO championship home. And don't forget, we're in three out of five territory, I believe. Yes, yes we are. The finals match. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. This guy just woke up. Whoa, and he's <laughs> angry. He didn't want to be woken up. My man definitely wakes up like that every day. Just screaming. Fusion Ha. Super Saiyan 4s combined, bro. This character is just too cool. Look at the tail on Scary. This so anime. Stone Cold Steve Austin, yeah? All right, here we go. <laughs> Break the glass. Oh, he's starting out with command grabs early. Yep. It's party time for Wawa. <sighs> Bro. You see how much hit stun that A assist has? It's actually scary. Yeah, ridiculous. Knocked down. And now we have the trunks. Oh, but he's trying to wake up with buttons. No, oh, sir. Bro. Not, not guess who. Knocked <laughs> down. Oh, wait. Misses the assist. He was actually going for. Oh, he's going for levels? I think he, if the C assist, he could have got a level at the beginning and then continued the combo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Missed the C assist, unfortunately. Oh, the cross up. Great block there from Wawa. Oh, oh, the 2 H. That's unfortunate for Nitro because that Kid Boo going to go down here. And just like that, Kid Boo basically a training dummy to start this match. Literally. Opened up so quickly. See the UI if you can bear any this one here. Ooh. Oh my goodness, yeah. You can't forget how good this guy is with this character. Oh my goodness, the best UI in the business right now. Nitro going to work. Knockdown time. Nice tech on the Dragon Rush. Wawa. Those amazing reactions. Yeah, oh, he's so on point. I love the way he covered that raw tag. Okay, there we go. What a block. All overhead, 6M. Oh, the challenge this time from Wawa works out. Okay, Trunks. The defensive timing's on Wawa, so on point right now. Yeah, knocked down into the Ultra Big Bang Kamehameha. And the pressure is going to be that off this one. Nitro might even consider using that spark. No! Oh, I love that. There's a late air dash right there, catching him overhead when he thought he was going to go with an empty. Yeah, that's right. 
Don't forget, two air dashes on Gogeta 4, man. One of the things that makes him so powerful. Yeah, that's going to do it. Dead character right there. Wawa, full team composition. Nitro. I mean, 21 is there. The spark is there as well. This is definitely not impossible, but opened up. Yeah, and that's the thing, right, is that in terms of on paper, it feels like Nitro can still bring it back, but the way Wawa has been playing and dominating this match, yeah. it doesn't feel that way. Yeah, you can see he's doing the, the level ups now. He's up to four already. Backing off. Oh, no, no, please, please don't go for it. Yeah, try to beat him into a super dash. Yeah, oh, oh my goodness, man. still ready for that as well. Yeah, that's right. I see go. the lightning come off of Wawa's eyes, man. He's looking very much in the zone. Oh, oh. Nitro with the reflect on wake up. Oh, no, is he going for it? He's going for it. Level seven. Yes. Oh, delete this character from the game. Oh, my goodness. Kusoge. <laughs> Deleted from existence, bro. Level seven, instant kill. Man, wild. Yeah, when well, he's looking like this, he's looking like this. he looks like the best in the world, straight up. Yeah, you saw how he just like almost willed that level seven into existence. Yeah. Like he just made it. You know, this guy was just just finding levels out of nowhere. Yeah, like he, he oh. look, like he looks like in the zone. Like the flow state is here. Like every single thing that he thinks of is the correct thing. Yeah, this like, this this is definitely the, uh, a very very woke wow wow right now. Ridiculous here. Nitro still feel like he hasn't even gotten a chance to play. There we go. Yeah, he went for. I think he got to level two actually there. But uh, Nitro with a challenge. Oh, here we go. Love these kid boo loops. Look at that. Optimal as always. Taking him down the stairs onto the midstream for the level three. Okay, God Oki on the way. Let's see what Wawa goes for here. Always very confident in his defense, but let's see if he holds on to that spark. Yes. Oh, how did he block that I range? No, I really don't. Bro. Oh, tries with a DB, but gets some space back, and Nitro's going to be able to punish with that UI assist. I, I, can he kill here? If he gets the extra bar, I think he might be able to. Oh, no. Yeah, again, I think he, as you mentioned, a little bit too far away to kill with one, so it just lets it fall. Whoa, what? man. He's going to go what for it. He sparks mean? up. He's going to kill her. He's getting the levels, bro. How is he getting these levels? Whoa, whoa, not like this. He got it. She's done. She's done. Wait, she's out. No, she's fine. She's OK. Oh, she dropped bro. at the end. You're kidding me, after all that, after all the resources spent, Wawa drops the end of the combo and pays for it with his character. Bro, I don't, I don't understand how we just got like six levels off one combo. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that was ridiculous. That that last level he got, that level seven looked bananas. I don't know how he got that out. Yeah, Wawa, man. He builds teams around this, man. Wawa, my man trying to get on high fights for sure with that one. Unfortunate drop there, but okay, what? Bro, yo, he jumped, yo, he caught him like that. The jump light on the two, that's crazy. Yeah, the, the two, that was ridiculous. Two, I, yeah. yeah, I've never seen someone like anti air that button before. Yeah, Nitro with a great, oh, look at this. Boom, optimization station right there on the Kipu. Drag him down. Yep, he's dead. Level two coming up here from UI. Yeah, level two into that Android 21. Goodbye. Nice. Vegito, you're finished. I, that was insane on that 2L. I wow. believe, I've never seen that before. What a turnaround from Nitro. Andrew 21 definitely got saved there when uh, she dropped out that level 7. Very fortunate yeah, break. right? Yeah, that yeah. completely changed the tide of the game. This is a ghost, essentially. <laughs> yeah. Wawa's being haunted, bro. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. The spirit, the apparitions are coming for you, bro. Oh. The Dragon Rush works out. Wawa gets the hit now. Let's at, see. Looking to exercise the spirit. Stop getting haunted. For real. Ah, uh, he's going, for, and now he's just going to go for the, the up down because, I don't know, he might go for a vanish. Let's go, let's see. No, he just went for the EX Shining Slash and right. 21's going to go down. You know, when you're thinking about all those other things, uh, sometimes the simplest answer is the best. Huge. All right, man, I tell you what, Wawa will lame this out. Yeah. He will take all day if he has to. That timer is his only assist right now. And that's the thing with it, Trunks at the helm. Yeah, you can maneuver around the screen so quick, and the Super Dash calls out the projectile. Knockdown City in the corner right now. Nitro has to defend and sparks up. He was getting. Oh, what? yo, change the future. Wawa's changing his future right now. Bro, okay. Wawa is way too smart. I can't believe he did that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. Follow up. Boo ball. Look at this combo from Nitro. Dig this level one into level three. Yes, and it's going to drag Trunks back to the middle of the screen. Let's see what the pressure's going to be from Nitro. OK. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Ooh, the late reflect there from Wawa. Challenge. Wawa in trouble, could be. Here comes the mix. Oh, he used the guard cancel vanish to get out. Yeah, at least it's still connected on that UI. Goku didn't completely whiff, so. Ooh, try to catch the landing. Oh! Oh, instead, the delay Wait. does catch him with no combo afterwards. No follow up. And look at Wawa's movement. Some yeah. of the best in the world. Such good air movement here. The super jumps loading back, not committing to anything. You see the instant block when he rides. Oh! Well. So scary. Oh my goodness. Oh, he goes behind. Gets the cross. Re jump. No, okay, just keeping it simple now. I respect it. I definitely do. That's right. Oh How does he keep beating these options from Nitro? He converted? He converted from that? Bro, I he, oh. oh my goodness, Simple is best. Nitro jumps out of the Dragon Rush, gets the kill on Trunks. Level three, why not? Show him how you feel. Bro, but some of these answers that Wawa pulled out, even in a losing effort, are like mind blowing. Amazing. That, that changed the future. That was a raw cow on the jump S, right? Like that yeah, specifically yeah. counters projectiles, right? On that vanish, like, no. He's just so smart. Wawa is, is the kind of guy, like, he thinks about every single option in the playbook. Yeah. Every single one. Like, you can see his brain is just like, he sees the interaction, and then it just sprawls out in a brainstorm yeah. of answers. It's, it's, it's the hangover meme, you know? He just, <laughs> yeah. all, all the numbers yeah. everywhere. <laughs> you know? This guy sees it. Sees the numbers. That is wild. So okay. Good stuff from Nitro, though. Again, bouncing back. I, I've been talking a lot about Wawa and the amazing decisions he's made, but Nitro took that W. Nitro looking... Very, very, very strong. Of course, of course, as we expect. Firing back to a 1-1 one -one situation now. And let's see, will Wawa switch up his team strategy here or will he keep it together with the double fusions trunks? Honestly, it was a very close game. I don't think there's any reason to switch, honestly. Yeah, I like him taking some time, going back to the character select, but keeping all the assists right as well. He's looking so good, and it really is just looking like a close battle. I honestly don't want to see either of these characters switch at all, just because I know it can come down to the decision-making and the adjustments between the two. Absolutely. They're both so good. No doubt at all. Let's see here. So, oh, and I, this is 1-1 one, one already. This is only 1-1, one, one, right? One, like, one. Oh, my goodness. Exciting <laughs> games, man. I'm telling you, we're all here for it. Dragon Ball Fighters. You love to see it at this high, high level. Yeah, it really does feel like we're going into the set deciding game. Okay, yeah, full extension from that one. Rejump on the way. Look at that. Textbook with the execution. Does this man play piano or anything like that? The finger dexterity is really I know, like right? <laughs> it's, it's scary, actually. And there we go, the lockdown there, that C assist from Trunks. Very underrated assist, I feel like it. Oh my goodness, gets the hit. Look at this damage right now, Rich. Wawa definitely makes it look underrated. And right now, complete domination to start this match again. Exactly what he would want, honestly, an ideal start. And he knows that that Gogeta potency on point is so good that he'll spin an extra bar to kill and keep it in point. Yep, there we go. Gogeta 4 doing work for Wawa. First character goes down, Kid Buu, already in the back seat. Oh, my goodness. Yo. Nitro realizes you need to jump up to those high angles where that Vegito assist will not reach. Oh, my goodness. He, oh, my. That was hard, another hard read. Like, I, this is ridiculous, the answers he's coming up with. Yeah, for sure. Wawa, don't forget, he grew up on, on those. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, he grew up on those uh, old school fighters, man. King of Fighters. Yeah. Uh, all those games. And, yeah. you know, he makes those good decisions in Dragon Ball Fighters as well. Gets a level up on the way. Oh my goodness, bro. Plus. Yep. Keeping those flat frames. Positive. Positive vibes only. Shout out to Yipes. My man, Nitro. He just wanted to make his way out. Wanted to do something, but instead, Wawa shutting that down again. Yeah, he's going to get the kill right now. Wawa has not taken any damage in this game. Remember, he started the top eight with a perfect. This is the man that perfected somebody in this game. It is extremely hard to do that. Yep. Looking real vegan right now. Those three green bars on the screen. Look at this, and it's going to continue on. Wawa. My man looking for the cash in, cash out right now. Oh, he's going for the pressure, and you've got to believe the spark is on the way. But will he go for it? Yes, the late spark. I like it. Trying to get the hit. The challenge, though, from Wawa. Look at this. Okay, pushes him back. Just trying to, he's just trying to make some space, to be honest. Mm, trying to meet him in again, but Nitro discipline about it. Oh, man, the movement right here. Wawa looking so good. Oh, he went for the... Oh, the challenge, though. He didn't have... Okay, didn't commit off that, but now he is going to get the extension. 2, 3, 6, M. Re-jump. Oh, no, misses the follow-up. Unfortunate. Look at this pressure, man. Yeah, that's Trunk C. This keeps you locked down for such a long time. Okay. That's reversal super. That's pretty decent. Yeah, busts out. But 
Was that a sign of desperation from Nitro, perhaps? 100%. There we go. <laughs> he was tired of blocking, for sure. Oh, DP into the spark there, Wawa. And of course, of course, it was a raw level 3 range. Going to get all that blue life back. But Nitro has a chance now. Yeah, he's going to be able to do some real damage here. Of course, we see that life being regenerated by the spark. But done now, and another level 3 into a guess. Okay, let's see right now. Where are we gonna go? Oh, behind it was a cross up. Great block. Oh, that's a bad guard cancel. That's gonna be a huge punish. There we go. Nitro gonna have to optimize that, and he does. Look at the damage on this limit break. Android 21, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. What a no punish. super? No, no meter. Insane. Yeah, no meter. Of it. Or yeah, excuse me, no super and that much damage. Wow, what a conversion from Wawa. And now, here we go. He's gonna be able to get this. Yeah, this is a kill right now. Throw him down. One into three. Yeah, Ultra Big Bang Kamehameha, and it's going to be a 2-1 lead right now for Wawa on this. In a dominant fashion, to be quite honest with you, in, yeah, that, yeah. in that third game. He is playing on another level, this guy. Like, Damn. That, that one game that Nitro got, he had to fight tooth and nail for it, right? It was yeah. so hard to get that W. And the Ws that Wawa has put up have just been completely one-sided. And when you see going for stuff like that raw level three, like like if you're Wawa right there, you're like, okay, so I, I see how it is now. Yeah, yeah, you're, exactly. you're, you're desperate, essentially. Yeah. I've seen what I've done to your mental game. Yeah. Let's see right now. Nitro, though, do not count him out. He can definitely still come back. Oh, oh my goodness! Ridiculous. The Universal Fuzzy! That's so hard to deal with because we've seen that same situation. He's gone low. This time, the Fuzzy Guard opens him up. Wow. Exactly. Against Hook, we saw him go low multiple times. That is the other option right there. That's why Hook got hit low before because he was worried about that. And now you're worried about trying to up back in the corner. Wawa has an answer for everything. Wow, are you kidding me? Look at the optimization on this. This is a real Vegito. Oh, look at this work right now. It's still going, bro. The Dragon Rush at the end with Gogeta. Yep, and now pressure on Kid Boo. Nitro defending. Will he spark up or is he just going to block it out? Yeah, he's just blocking right now. Reflects him away. Oh, man. UI got smoked. Oh, the delay. Oh, Yo! Oh, like he he you can't. You can't do anything. It's not your turn. Why wow. is it going to be my turn, Tyrant? Listen, uh, bro, <laughs> he doesn't let you play. Wow, wow. He's, he's all about single player mode as well. Yeah, and just the call, I was like, the up backs like, get shut yeah. down so hard. And it's just like, then you have to block something after that. Bro, it's actually nonstop. This guy's neutral is out of control. Oh Goes behind this time. God. This guy's showing us the wealth of options that that Trunk C assist offers. Bro, it's, it, that's mad. The high, low, the left, right, you don't know which way he's going to explode you from. It's like that It's like that, that Kid Boo base Vegeta, you know, like that kind of block down. Oh, okay, there we go. Unrestrained Will, he's out of there, and he's going to get the level three. Going to get the stocks and the Oki right now. But Wawa does have a lot of resources here to escape that godlike defense being one of them. Yeah, Wawa yeah look at that. Yeah. Blocks it. Full blue life on top of it as well, because that was still invincible startup. Okay, the spark out. Wawa realizes that all that blue life, very important to get back. Wawa right now in control as well. Goes behind the spark up from Nitro. You see, that was going to be a delayed overhead, so he used the extra air dash at the end. Guys in the Vegito. Oh, and then the ESK cans going through, shutting down the neutral game. Take it to the corner now. Oh, yeah, toss her back. Oh, I'm going to set up shop. He has that Trunks assist available as well. You know he wants to make a block, but Nitro with a rising ability to get out of the corner. Very well done. Absolutely. Look at this right now. It bends out all the stocks. Send out projectiles. Both players spending both their assists as well. Wow, of a windy 2H. Nitro, though, look at this. He's just chilling. Oh, my goodness. He predicted the jump there. It, his jump predictions have been insane, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. Okay. The boss from Wawa immediately gets that space back. Yeah. And that trunk C assist doing work. Okay, the IAD double overhead. Okay. Yeah. On deck. This should be an Android 21 death as long as he's clean about the combo. Yeah, just throw it down. Three level ones to get that kill. Yeah, the burning attack. And then, the, yeah, we want Gogeta in last. The and then you have the, both those crazy assists. You've got the, the pressure strings that we've seen. Yeah, double air dash, left, right. Bong and stuff. You know he wants the level seven gimmick too. Let's not forget about that. Oh man. All the challenge though from Nitro. This could be his chance. Chance to at least survive any time of level seven. Whoa! The double side switch. Okay. All right. Styling out here. Okay. Gets himself out the corner. Nitro though trying to make. Whoa! He said, "Don't call assists." This is ridiculous. Oh wait a minute, Wawa. With a falling button, gets the hit, and now he's going to be looking optimize this. 
Let's see if he can get the kill. I think he's done, Ringe. I think that's it. And then long distance jump line. Wawa going to be going to grand finals. Winner's side 3 1 over Nitro. The Monday Night Wars are over. Wawa being the, <laughs> being the, being the raw yeah. tonight, <laughs> taking Nitro down, sticking in the winner's side. Going to go into grand finals. Wow, what a performance from him. Yo, Wawa, I'm telling you, yeah, the way he's played today. I mean, this man has had. A argument for best in the world for a long time right now, but when he plays like this, I don't even think there's an argument. Oh man, for sure. He's looking unstoppable right now, man. Night like <sighs> Nitro really put in the work, but man, who can stop Wawa when he's playing like this? It's actually very Ridiculous. hard to say. Ridiculous, absolutely. Great stuff from Wawa. Gonna be sitting pretty in grand finals, win aside, of course. That means Nitro drop it down to the losers finals. Gonna be awaiting the winner of who is it? Shanks and uh, it's going to be, God, right? yeah, 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 Shanks and Ooh, Hook. So that's a run back. That's, it's a run back, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Hook actually got the W last time they played. So it's going to be an exciting game. All right, y'all. So those matches are going to be coming up very soon. We we're going to take a quick break here. Don't go anywhere. Right here on CEO Gaming, we'll be back with that Losers Finals and the Grand Finals to follow. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to twitch.tv slash CEO Gaming. Welcome back to a beautiful Dragon Ball Fighters Top 8. We have uh, gone far along in the bracket already. We have arrived at Loser Semifinals. And because of that, Tyrant, I'm quite hungry, bro. Do you know what? Yeah, it's been quite a long uh, commentary block. But look at this, oh, bro. This yes. is a run-in I can get on board with. Yes. My man. Oh. By God. By God, indeed, <laughs> King. We got the Papa John's pepperoni and the Papa Dia in the building. Ready to level Ooh. up my life, bro, with some good, good foods. I'm not gonna lie, bro. You, you get you get that game when you get that pizza, that Papa John's. No it's a match made in heaven. I can't lie. Let's go. We're we gonna get stuck in. All right. Mm. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Mm -mm -mm. Let me try that. Let's go. I'm not <laughs> we, we did not coordinate our bites at all. One of us should have took and the other should have talked, but it'd be like that. It's just too good. Mm. Oh man, it's kind of good. Like. That's yeah, definitely good. The Papa Dia, the Philly Cheese Steak Papa Dia. And you can get your own with the code 20% off the Papa John Smash over yeah. at PapaJohns.com. So don't get it twisted. Yeah, we're hooking up the gamers this weekend. Bro. Yeah, you love to see it, man. Mm -hmm. Love to see it. 20% off. Shout out to Papa John's for sponsoring this amazing event here at CEO, man. You gotta love it. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, you hit that up. You can get that BTS. Dot gg slash Papa John's, or you can click the link below and you get 20% off right there. You already know, so definitely big ups to Papa John's, lacing us with the good stuff here at CEO, making sure that the commentators and everybody is nice and fed oh, yeah. to enjoy the fighting game action. Of course, man. And I'm telling you, man, like, you know, you get a pizza party, you get the homies around, you play some fighting games. Come on, what that, more can that, you ask for? That's the vibes. Yeah. It's definitely the vibes. For so sure. Big ups to Papa John's, helping us hold it down here at CEO, but now it is time, Tyrant, Ooh. to get back to that loser semifinals action. It's going to be an incredible match. It's going to be Shanks versus Hook Gang Gold. Oh, God. my goodness. The run back from earlier on in the tournament. You can see the bracket right there. Who is going to get the opportunity to face off against Nitro? Will it be Shanks or Hook? I mean, last time these guys played in the tournament, in the winner's bracket, it was Hook that took that W. So, Shanks might have to go back to the drawing board and rethink that strategy. And if you're just joining us, that last time that Tyrant is alluding to is in this very bracket, in winner's final, or not winner's finals, but in the winner's side of everything, Shanks took it over Hook Gang God. Or excuse me, Hook Gang God took it over Shanks. So yep. now we're going to get that run back. Yeah, yeah. Loser semifinals, we're going to see if Shanks can alter the game plan at all, right? I'm not sure I didn't see the actual fight itself. I don't know how close it was, but we are going to see how close this one is for sure. And it is the last two out of three match of our top eight as well. Absolutely. Going to be a very, very, very exciting game. I am looking forward to this one for sure, guys. Definitely going to be a nail-biter for sure. Spanish guys, of course, getting behind the chanks. You can, or I can already see it, man. I can't see the Twitch chat right now, but I know the Spanish boys are holding it down, spamming those flags in the chat. But, bro, them, them hook quapos, they're going to be coming there. They're going to be in there, bro. The, the, the Mario jams, they're out there. I was going to say, this is going to be an emo battle. In the yeah, chat literally, sure. literally. You don't even got to put emo only mode on. It's just yeah. going to be like that. Emo battle right there. But, of course, the last time these guys played it was 2-0, bro. Look at old man like Mickey, yeah? Party games. <laughs> man like Mickey. Yo, you going to roll the dice? Your Bowser's so, going to come in at the end and take all your stars, bro. I won't lie to you. Since we bun checking, I'm eating, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That, that, that's the tech right there. Yo, Ringe one step ahead, bro. Mm -hmm. Getting that, the, the, the good Papa John sandwich there. Better than a sandwich. Okay, here we go. Straight in now. The Astro headset comes on. It is game time. Try hard mode activated. Headset on. Leaning forward in the chair. 
promise. I promise I wasn't joking. I took a big ass bite right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I My man's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First meal of the day. Shout out. All right. We're getting straight in now. The button check is concluded. So it's real games only now. Oh my goodness, the emote battle. I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm open up right now. I need to see the, <laughs> I need to see the Twitch chat <laughs> right now. Feel the vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, feel the emotes itself. Okay, I'm feeling Yeah, I gotta see it, man. I gotta see it. Shout out to all you guys tuning in uh, at home and here in the arena as well. We're gonna get losers semifinals. One of these players, unfortunately, will be going home right now. Let's go. Shanks versus Hook Gang God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Chat is going off. Mickey. Oh yeah, the Mickey, Mickey. against the Spade. Bro. Oh no, <laughs> you guys are going in. Yo, crowd, let me hear you too, bro. Let's Come get on. loser semifinals. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all beautiful out there. Shanks versus Hook Gang God. Europe versus America. Let's see it. These are two pillars of the community. Two of the players that made people fall in love with Dragon Ball Fighters. Who's going to get to Nitro? We finding out right now. Oh man. Here we go. It is top four right now. But who's going to continue on? Oh, Janemba point for this one? Wow. Janemba point? I was okay. going to say, I've never seen this intro. <laughs> I, was oh, like, I wasn't man. sure who it was. Janemba, Janemba. All right. And of course, you know, Base Vegeta, I can, I can see it. Maybe, maybe you know, Base Vegeta likes to throw out a lot of key blasts. We might see that 2 2 S in the very near future here. Most definitely, that's uh, probably why Shanks is actually on point in the first place. You see, it well yeah. aware of the orb, Dragon Rush games as well. And get yeah. caught slipping for a moment here, trying to make something happen with the Encelasis, but no. That's right, Janemba, one of the best space control characters in the game. And a really good character, uh, you know, countering neutral. Oh my goodness, S into that slice. Gonna get the side switch with the auto combo. That was smart from Shanks. Bring him towards the corner with Cell. Yep, rolling crush. Now you're in trouble. Wake up. Oh, I think that was maybe a reflect attack, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know but, if he meant to just say, like, thought he was gonna cross up and got a regular S button. You might what? be right. Okay, look at the extension now for Shanks. I think he's got more than enough meters range. Oh, yeah. This should be the end of that mm. Vegeta for Hook. X gonna give it to him into the Gala Gun one more again. Then we got purple energy everywhere. Oh man, let's go. Demon born from negative energy, Janemba. Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Oh, he got to, wait, there's two, there's two in there. The big oh, body's covering right. Piccolo, but he got two. Oh my goodness, he broke the armor. He's a happy birthday as well. You see the meter just stack it up right oh, now. Oh no, he's done. Barria. The assist is dead. It's all up to the legendary Super Saiyan. Oh, it is indeed. Oh, and this is a way to start it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Throwing him down, DR. Might not even go for level three. Yep, just goes for the pressure afterwards. Oh, he did the invincible super. Oh, the level one with the yeah. DP properties now from Cell. Oh my goodness. Don't forget about that. Yep. And now that Janemba assist is available as well. Will extend just about. Can he get three bars here? No, okay, just goes for the, oh. Yep, Janemba super. Just the level one to waste down that spark time, do that long animation. Exactly, the hook blinking immediately. The spark is gone now. Really oh. wasted so much time. Yeah, and Broly, one of the characters that does give Janemba stress. You know, you can't throw out those S buttons against him. But likewise, oh, snatched up with the command grab. Shanks takes it in a convincing fashion. And Hook is being haunted by these happy birthdays in this top eight, bro. Legitimately, right? Like, the, the, nonstop. Been multiple times now, times that have costed him the entire game. This is another one. You can't just go up against the Broly, even as good of a character as it is against the caliber player that Shanks is. That's right. Happy birthday. Getting truly Mickey Mouse out here. <laughs> wow. Back to back with the reflect. That was a little playhouse of him. I won't lie. Okay. Knockdown time. Oh, that 2 H. Did you see how high it reached up? Yeah. My man Hook with a 2 H of his own. Yeah. Life. That was wild, though. The fact that it can make you block on the ground from there. Oh, my goodness. Hook now. Look at the damage right now. About 60% coming off that Janemba. Oh, jumps back, avoids the perfect attack, but oh wow. my goodness, the rolling crush. Just power through the clash. Almost electrifying overhead. Didn't have anything to back it up one more time with it though, and then the hook game got trying to press buttons afterwards, gets beat to the punch. Big sell, bro. The people's champ. Yeah, Max, he really was for a while. <laughs> uh, 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 look at the stance. The perfect Kamehameha. The cinematography on that super still It's so okay. sick, right? Yeah. The zoom out into the zoom in. Looking like Okada. Oh. Okay. Lots of projectiles on the screen right now, but that Janemba just... Oh! Wow! Wow, the armor saved hook right there, and yeah. an excellent tech on the Dragon Rush. Wow. 
these players are in the zone. Like the fact that they're making these decisions. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That was some some custom combos. Yeah. <laughs> Shane's I mean. not teching. Oh, no conversion there. Unfortunately from Hook gets out of danger though with the rolling crush and assist. Here we go. Shanks trying to open them up here. Good defense from Hook, just being patient. I gotta imagine what? that no teching was a big brain stuff from nah, Shanks. Nah, nah. That super dash, you don't need a brain for that, though. <laughs> it does what it needs to do for you. The hook is getting hit by like all the nonsense. Happy birthdays, oh. crazy super dash stuff. Man. The Google has super dashes, bro. And that's a dead character right there. Vegeta gonna go down. Barrier into the Gallic Gun. Yeah. Great job from Shanks. Not risking any more hit stun as well. As soon as he built that second bar, he went into the super. Yep, all the armor. Okay. Oh, oh, what my. a perfect sell assist call and then Super Dash to convert. Shanks is ridiculous. Oh, well, Hook with the down tech buttons right there. Shanks does have that spark available. I don't think he's going to spend it yet. Doesn't really need to. Not really in any danger, to be honest with you. Good block from Hook. This man, Hook, is built for the chaos. Those are some impressive blocks. Yeah, man, for sure. Oh, no, the trade, but that is a trade Shanks will take all day indeed. Here comes the, the final character for Hook in this game. It is going to be Big Green. The signature, the monster. Yes. All about that Piccolo, bro. Putting all of Namek on his back right now. Oh, okay, yeah, for sure. EX is going to knock down now. Okay, he's going for the light grenade. Light grenade! <laughs> I miss your hypes on this game, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, pressure, oh, staggering away. Oh, he tried to reflect, but got opened up by the DR. Now we're going to stay intimate. The CQC is here. For sure. <laughs> All right. No. Here we're looking the level three here, and he's got that assist. This is left, right mix. What's it going to be? Oh, the reflect. Oh. Oh. Yo, he reflected cell, but got hit by the assist. That's so unfortunate for Hook. That is. It was a raw con on the cross up attempt, but it wasn't enough to escape the situation. Yeah. Shanks takes it 2 0 over Hook Gang God. Switches in to Janembra as well to guarantee it with the high damage level one. Shanks gets his revenge, runs it back. He knows. He's like, yeah, that was set play, bro. Like, that's <laughs> yeah. literally his team is built around that single player mode. I think that's what we saw. We saw Hook, you know, actually get the reflect on the cross up, like you said. Yeah. And I think that's what he went with earlier when we saw the random yeah. blast. Yeah, you're right. He was looking for that for sure. Yeah, 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 absolutely. He knows uh, Shanks likes to go for, go for that mix. Man, Hook oh. and God. Great performance, though. Top four at CEO 2022. Yo, let me hear it one more time for Hook and God. Come on, guys. Give it up. And the chat right now giving it up from home. You already Spamming know. those emotes. And yeah, Shanks, he's going to walk around a little bit, take a breather, but he is going nowhere, baby, because Losers Finals is up next, and he's got Nitro in his way. Oh, my goodness. Shanks versus Nitro? Ne oh, come on, man. Like, <laughs> these games, just they, they just keep on giving. Just like, it doesn't stop. Man, man, this top eight is too far, man. Definitely, definitely. We're getting more USA. So, yeah, so pretty much ever since that Winners Finals, it's been USA versus Europe, right? That's yeah, what you're right. Finals was, Losers Semis, and now we continue in that thanks to Shanks going into Losers Finals against Nitro. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Uh, you can see the bracket as well, uh, so you can follow along at home. Look at Shanks, man. He's trying to run that gauntlet right now all the way through that Losers top eight to this position now in top three, where he needs to fight against Nitro, like you said, and get that chance to advance on. Wawa is waiting in the wings. Grand Finals winner's side. And honestly, the way that he's playing, 2 0 over Hook. 3-1 over Nitro. He's looking unstoppable, Ringe. Yeah, it really does look like Wawa is in a form that he's significantly better than everybody else in the world. Like, oh, man. he can reach that status, and right now he is looking like that. And when it comes to uh, in the any given Sunday aspect of fighting games, how on are you on that day you need to be on? Mm. I mean, Wawa looks incredible. Yeah, he's looking outstanding for sure. But that's to be seen. Right now, we've got Nitro versus Shanks. That's the game that we're all yeah. going to be uh, focusing on right here. Nitro up there, plugging in his controller, just taking his time. Shanks, maybe having a little bit of a breather after that one, you know. Yeah, that's, sure. that, that's that's perfectly reasonable. You know, you can't argue with that. Very, very intense game up there against Hook. He took it convincingly, though. Like, you know, it was the, the, the way that he... The, he played completely different to the way they played before. It was yeah. a 2-0 to Hook the first time they played. Yeah. But man, like, that was a convincing one for sure. 
And I'm interested but, to see how Nitro, if you want to you wanna build on that point. No, no, I was just saying, like, going into it, you've got to imagine, man, like, he beat me last time. So, like, yes, it was a 2-0, right? and, yeah. and I've really got to turn things around now. So, you know, shout outs to Shanks. Yeah, I think that's a testament to how much he's grown as a competitive player. Yes. Right? I mean, you, when you get too old like that, it could be in dominant fashion. A lot of the times, you end up second-guessing your game plan, and you can start getting some self-doubt going. But what Shanks did was really just reconstruct his game plan a little bit, right? He was like, obviously, I'm a player killer with the capabilities of beating Hook, yeah. right? So he's like, I'm going to put this Janemba on point. I'm going to change the way I play a little bit. Yeah, and yeah. Those small adjustments made a huge difference. Yeah, for sure. Having Janemba on point against against Base Vegeta is definitely a very, very good strategy. He can't be as crazy with the with the neutral. He can't yeah. throw as many key blasts. He yeah. needs to be a bit more reserved. So yeah, really good stuff there from Shanks. And that's why I'm interested to see how this Nitro Shanks match plays yeah. out. Because I think, again, if he starts that Janemba, which we haven't seen him do, right? But just in general, the dominance of Janemba, once he's in has been very potent for Shanks, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to see how Nitro kind of approaches that. He's got some long-range characters that don't need the projectiles, right? Like the Kid Buu, the UI. So these characters can kind of close that distance without utilizing something like a Key Blast. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's going to be a great match regardless, you know. Um, man, I feel like this is going to be very interesting. Uh, the, the, these, these guys played before, right? Let me just double check this. Ooh, yeah, okay. they, they played earlier, but yeah, like Thank you so much once again, everybody, for tuning in at home and uh, sticking with us here. Oh, I'm going to sneak in up by you. Yeah, you're going to go? <laughs> you're going back in? You're going back in? Come on. The Papa John's holding it down for us here at CEO. Like you said earlier, keeping everyone fed. Um, massive shouts to all the sponsors as well. Holding it down here. Oh, yeah. Let's go. The Papadilla. That's the one. That's the one, bro. It looked good. I'm not going to lie. Oh, man. So ready for some more games, man. This this this, this top eight has just been nonstop. It's been super, super, super good. Highest level Dragon Ball Fighters you will see. Ah, oh, the flatbread sandwich. Giving me more life, just like these matches have been giving it to me as well. Look at that. The respect shown between these two players. I love the intimate handshake. Two hands on one right there. Because Shanks knows this is... They're warriors together. That's one of the great things about the right. Dragon Ball Fighters players too, is that they really feel like Saiyans. Like they're just looking for the best competition they, to get yeah. better. Yeah, they just want to keep getting better. But right now, it looks like I'm not sure if this is going to be a button check or if, if that's underway. We'll soon find out. Mm. I, think able, you, you, I think this is going. You'll bro. be you'll be able to tell. Yeah, you'll be able to tell in the first like two seconds. Let's get it. Okay, it Man. is losers finals, guys. Nitro Woo! versus Shanks, and what an opening for Shanks right here. Yeah, Nitro feeling risky, He's feeling frisky with that reflect. Yeah, and look, switches out to sell. I like that. Janemba on point, and then when he does get that hit, puts him in the back again. Oh, Ooh. man. Opened up. Kid Boo in trouble right now. Man, Cell doing the damn thing right now. Let him know who the real villains are. The big, yeah, that's what. That's it, man. The two big villains of Z. But Cell right now, looking like he's coming out on top. Where's the mix? Oh, no, that's so cheap. Protect your neck. Damn. EX there. Anytime Shanks knocks you down in the corner and he has at least three and a half bars of Cell, you'll guess it. And now the forehead. You're so worried about him going cross up. You weren't protecting your dome. That's a kiss to it. That's it. Here we go. Pressure now. Staggering the string. The 5M. Oh, my goodness. The challenge there worked out. Reflect there from Nitro. Ooh, Good block again. And oh. Weather in the storm, what an incredible Dragon Rush tech. Okay. There we go, that beam and the chase. Shanks right now comfortable, just chilling. You know, he's just playing his game. Yeah. And Shanks, you know, with that life lead, he's content. He's letting Nitro do these projectiles. What? The perfect attack into the assist afterwards. That looks punishing nothing. That looked crazy. Look, yeah. the perfect attack might have even gone behind for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Definitely might have. Oh, the chase. Wow. Okay, Nitro though, that spark on. He got a lot of blue life back. Oh, the perfect attack once again. Shanks, the king of that. So smart, right? You're going to vanish behind me in the air. You're going to hold that joint to try to take your turn heavy. Instead, just counters it outright. Okay, and there we go. He's going to get the kill. Yep, wasting down the spark time to absolute zero. And there we go. Android 21 goes down. And that UI is going to come in. The spark is literally about to go right now. Nitro going to have to do this solo. Yeah, exactly. He's got some Lumen Break buffs. He's got some meter to his name. But, oh, and he's got a super dash for the first hit. Yeah, very nice. Here we go. Two on four H. Get a follow up now. Knockdown. Okay, he's going for level three. All right. I respect it. 
I mean, Shanks does have that sparking resource. Let's see if he uses it to keep his composition, perhaps, and just push Nitro back to full screen. Right, in a lot of these situations, yeah. yeah, you spark up just to keep that 3v1, and we've seen that time and time again from Shanks as well. On the successful spark, the opponent blown away and then eats the rocket kick, trying to do something after. And again, trying to do something on wake up, stuffed from Shanks, and that's going to be a 1-0 lead to start the set. Absolutely, of course. Like, this is a finals game, guys, so it is three out of five territory. The first game, convincing fashion, goes to Shanks, and this guy is on an absolute roll of dominance, man. 2-0 in the last set. Oh, man, this guy is looking crazy. Didn't yeah. lose a character that game. These players are playing like some of the best Dragon Ball I've ever seen from them. They are peaking right now in this tournament. Shanks is one of those. You can see Nitro a little bit more reserved here to start this next round. Oh, you saw how he tried to use that 2-2-S again for the plus frames, but didn't work out. Oh, oh my goodness. The wall bounce off the bounce from Cell. That B assist, so useful. Oh, oh that 2 age is so good. We saw how high it reached up into the heavens earlier, this time connecting. Okay, and there we go. Looking real good right now. Bringing him back to the mid-screen, yep. See, pushing him. Oh, the disruptor assist. Oh, yo, that tried with the reflect there on the tag. Yeah, definitely had enough time to 2H, but you can tell he's a little shook by Shanks. Shanks doesn't need enough time for that 2H. He's always got it on deck. Yeah, Shanks playing so unpredictably. It's really hard to get a read on this guy right now. Gonna get the dragon rush into the knockdown in the corner again. It's a Cell's world. You're just living in it, but he escapes the corner at the very least. Yeah, gonna bring in that 21 for the level three. God Oki incoming. Let's see what the option is going to be from Shanks. Just blocks it out. Look at the defense. Yeah, calmly walking back as well. Oh my goodness, what a way to close the gap. Yep. And to leave her projectile. Oh man, swatting the flies didn't work out. Okay, and Shanks right now, he's going to go for the level three mix, I imagine. Yes, he is. Nitro basically being forced to use that spark right now. You've got to imagine. Yeah, you gotta be extremely confident otherwise. Yeah. He actually blocked and used he it. Did, that, yeah. that, that was that was gutsy. <laughs> okay. Okay, the pressure. Cell with so many block strings. This character just it just doesn't seem to end. Oh yeah, and then you see he sneaks in the reset right here. But again, he's Look at this. leaving such a little gap that the assist arm building back up. Oh the challenge there. Nice off the six M on block. There we go. Sends out the orbs. Spark up from Shanks, he didn't want to do whatever that mix-up was going to be. Nitro thought he was waiting for it, but he's getting blown back. Yeah, she's done. Shanks going to have more than enough meters right now. Shanks playing like an absolute monster right here. Barrier! There we go. Bring in the Sword Super for Janemba. Sword Saint Janemba into the Galaga. Purple energy. Oh, yeah. Psycho power on display. Nitro now. UI coming in. Oh, yo, the reflect. Nitro's reflex are getting eaten alive by Shanks in this game. The rocket kick too short to get hit by the reflect and then Cell coming in like a goon to punish it. Yeah, and you saw the little jump back into the 2M there. So he gets this situation. What's it going to be in front this time? Oh, oh, no. That's rough. He's been going behind so often here in the top eight, but Shanks switching it up against Nitro on the verge of a 2-0 lead. Yeah, that little jump back into the jump 2M Janemba does for the spacing on the level three is so deadly. Okay, here we go. Nitro with an opportunity. Going to go for the pressure now. Next hit. Oh, the raw tag from Shanks. That has been his go-to, and it's been working out so much for him. Shanae! It's well, if you're Nitro, if you're going to commit to try and challenge with those two wells, you got to have the 2H oh. ready. Oh, the moon jump cross of low. Man, Shanks playing on fire. Since that hook gang god set has not dropped a game, and he's looking to continue that dominance here, it is a 2 0 lead over US's hope here, Nitro. Yeah. You know, we've talked about protect your neck. That was protect your heels. Like, yeah, Whoa. Achilles heel, bro. We just sliced them in the ACL. Yeah, Shanks bringing all the tricks out the book for this one. Look at the conversion, realizing wow. he had to use the double jump for that, and he's going to get the knockdown. Brings in Cell here for the rolling crush. No, he dropped it. Unfortunate there. Yeah, that's what I thought it was, too. He was looking so optimal with the way he got that knockdown. Wow, as he landed, got his forehead blessed. Okay. Nitro right here. Doing work. Yep, get that knockdown. 
Oh, yo, Shank so deadly with that perfect attack, man. One of the best moves in the game for multiple reasons. It's not just an, an option to be, you know, anti, be an anti-air. It's a movement tool. Exactly. That's what I was going to capitalize on. The fact that he got out of the corner by using that was so huge. Oh, oh, look at the chase on the up tech. Pet the doggo, throw him up. And now look at this. Shank's going to work. Hit him right on the tentacle. Oh, yeah, for sure. And Duh, yeah. slice down. Slice that man up. Look, look at this play from Shanks, man. This he, is ridiculous. This is honestly some of the best I've ever seen him play. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like we knew he was a ridiculously strong, world-class player, but, bro, I don't know, like, it, what happened? Domination, he, the lightning coming out of his eyes. We're seeing a duel in grand finals if Shanks ends up making it like this. The ascension, for sure. And now here we go. Gets the level three. Mm, we got cupcakes. Let's see. Shanks does have the spark available. Can he block it out? Ooh. Oh my goodness! Everybody got hit. Chat, press one. We got cupcakes, but this mix-up ain't sweet. Best believe, bro. Boss. Yes. Here we go. Okay, Nitro takes down the Janemba, the character that's been doing so much work on this set play team that Shanks is running. Ooh. Nice. Man, look at that. We were looking forward to the grand finals. We were looking ahead, and now Nitro saying. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness, yep. And he just got to go for the basic stuff there. Used his double jump on that, of course. Oh, oh that was Nitro! So sick. The chase down, reacting. Bro, this guy. I can see the energy. Dun, 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 Max, dun, dun, you can dun, hear the dun, song dun, blasting dun. through your mind right now. Oh, for real. Okay, last character now for Shanks. It's going to be Cell. Nitro pulling this back, guys. It's incredible stuff from Nitro. Change to sit on the other side of the screen. Send up shot before coming to him. Yep, sent out the reality stone, but no dice. Shanks pressuring away in the corner. Okay. Yep, that's 6H. Always trying to get that hit any way he can, Range. Look at this Nitro not sticking his hand in the water. Oh, finally does and gets cut for it. Okay, oh my goodness, look how many bars there are. Look how many bars. Oh my goodness, you gotta. Yes, you gotta guess when you wake up. I mean, the spark is definitely coming, but is he gonna bait it? Oh my goodness, no, not like this, he bro. Doesn't. He bets on Nitro not sparking immediately, and he was correct. Set play city. Okay, here we go. Nitro right now, he, oh man, gets the hit, and he's gonna side swap sparks up immediately. Gonna build a ton of meters. Can he get the kill right here? Oh man, he's the most optimal UI in the business. But let's see. DP level three? No, just go straight into level three. Okay, this is not gonna kill. But he gets himself a great situation on this. Shank's gonna have to defend for his life. What's it gonna be? There's no way Shanks makes it out of this, right? Oh, the 6M. Nitro stays alive. I thought he was gonna perfect attack that 6M to the heavens. Oh my you. goodness. I won't lie to you. <laughs> Woo. That would have been scary, but Nitro stays alive in this, guys. Yes, Nitro, one, two right now. Not going out just yet. America's hope staying alive. You can see, yeah, we're going to reset that momentum. I love it from Shanks. Not just jumping right back into the rematch. Thinks about it for a second. He knows he's cerebral when it comes to Dragon Ball Fighters. You can't just start giving in to another person's momentum. You can get caught slipping way too easily like that. That's it. He's going right back in here. Of course, will not be a character switch on Nitro side. Shanks as well, opting to go with the same uh, lineup. That set play team It's going to lock you down, make it single player mode. But let's get straight back in. Fourth game of the set. Yeah, trying to get into that grand finals where Wawa awaits. Shanks very close to running away with this set. Three to nil, but Nitro too good of a player to let that happen. Yeah, yeah, Big yeah. adjustments coming in game three. Could that be what he needed? Download complete, maybe. Yeah, we don't he, know yet. Let's see. What's the process and power looking like? Oh, Bro. the shoulder tackle will be clear in the screen. That cell B assist is super good. Oh, the challenge gets the hit. Nitro looking good now. That was a medium start as well. Oh, my goodness. Look at this combo. I love his optimization. Nitro yep. straight to the ground. We got the assist afterwards. Yeah, Shanks. Uh, <gasps> not going to escape even with the spark advantage. Put him right back into the corner. Yeah, for sure. And violated his parole. You ain't off lockdown. Oh! You ain't off lockdown. What I just tell you? Why you whiffing reflect? Don't be doing that around here. Nitro gets that kill. And Shanks down a character and the spark. Just like that Nitro in the driver's seat for this set. Okay. Oh, man. 
Oh, oh there's the perfect man. attack he's been scheming on. Yeah, that's a great answer for the boot ball for sure. Shanks making it count. Gets that knocked down, pressuring away. Nitro holding onto that spark. Oh, the double overhead this time. That was so hard to see. That was ridiculous sell. Still tapping foreheads. That's not only a kiss to the forehead, that's a kiss goodbye. Kid Boo dead. Yeah, that's going to be it. Barria gets the kill. Okay. Two characters apiece here, but that valuable spark on Nitro's side, could that be the deciding factor? Definitely very well could be. Oh my goodness, Nitro committing to these Dragon Rush is a little strange. Oh, man! Shanks pulling out an option we haven't seen from the Cell Stagger Pressure yet with the cross-up. Yep, very nice. And look, okay, just, just get that next pressure. Maybe, okay, yeah, perfect attack. This, oh, the Dragon Rush, the spark is on for Nitro, but it's going to waste a lot of that time. Every second counts when you're in this sparking. And look, it's going to be guess for the game. Guess for the character, sorry. Most definitely, it is Android 21 will not survive this next match. OK. Well, he kept it real safe, right? Just calling the assist. Oh, no! Opened up, and Nitro, he doesn't have enough health on this Android 21 to live. So despite the start to this game, Shanks now the one in control. That's right, again. <laughs> Cell. Man, last character for Nitro, but look who it is. Look who it is oh, for Nitro. I hear, I hear it in my hand playing right now. Oh my goodness, the challenge. Goes behind, reflects all day from Nitro. Look at this. Oh, stop. Stop Yo. trying to think you can go up. Yep. That 2S for the... Look, he knows. He knows what Shanks is going to do before he does it. Stay that ass on the ground. Oh, flipped him at the very last second. What? Commits to the EX. Knew Shanks was going to come to the air. Okay, here we go. This is still very doable for Nitro. Just needs to get a couple situations, and this could be the first one he needs. Level three. Okay, good blocks from Shanks. He's living for now. Ah, the Dragon, the rush, dragon rush! Guess the hit. Nitro going to take it down. No more bar needed. And now it's going to be a face-off. UI Goku, Janemba. These are high power levels right now. Players, oh my characters, goodness. everything. Off the charts right here. Scout was exploding left and right. Yeah, and none are staying in existence right no! now. Oh, EX slash across the screen. Man, that EX slash is so cheap, bro. Indeed, it's okay. going to be a good spot for Shanks here, the level three. Let him hear the music. Janem beats. Let's see where you at. Left or right is behind. And Shanks gets the hit off the teleport. And he's going to send Nitro out the tournament. A big sigh of relief. El Padre moves into the grand finals. El Padre staying alive. Woo! Well done from Shanks. What a loser's bracket run here. He started this top eight in losers and has made it to the grand finals. I don't know the exact statistics on that, but it is not, it does not happen often. No, absolutely no. not. Wow, what a performance from Shanks right there. Taking down Nitro. You want a US is absolute finest, guys. What a performance, and it's gonna be an all European grand finals here at CEO. Big ups to Europe, man. They've been grinding the Dragon Ball Fighters. And what a response because of CB, right? I know I think a lot of people favored Europe going into Combo Breaker on that 15 versus 15 and to take the whole tournament while US defended the territory. But now responding here at CEO and all European grand finals. Who wanted that? I mean, Kasuga uh, right? wanted it. Yeah, I mean, he got his go. wish. He won't be up here no. for the grand finals, but he is going to get his wish nonetheless. It's yeah. going to be Wawa versus Shanks, and this is a tale old as time. Going back and forth. You know, they've wow. met in grand finals many times. Yeah. Uh, you know, stun fests. Uh, it's, 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 it's been crazy. Really exciting games on the way right here, and it's going to be a battle of attrition. Can Shanks get the bracket reset? He needs to win six games, let's not forget. Ooh. Let's not forget that. You know, Wawa, though, he's in such good form right now. Yeah. Only needs to win three off the bat, and the tournament is his, the CEO belt. And, and both of these players have been looking in the zone. So let's take a look at the bracket and talk about how they actually got here in the first place. Again, Wawa looking dominant, 2-0, 3-1, making a Nitro made him bleed just a little bit, but it still looked so dominant for him. And then we talked about Shanks from the beginning in top eight in loser's bracket. 2-0 over Kite, 2-0 over Kasuga, 2-1 in the run back versus Hook Gang God Crazy. to get into loser's finals, and 3-1 over Nitro. So impressive, so, so impressive here. Shanks, man, you see that Spanish flag, look, making all that run across yeah. the bottom of your screen, up it to the top there on the grand finals, but he is in the loser's side. Wawa with a massive advantage, the way that he's been playing, he didn't even get sent no. down to the loser's bracket. He has not lost a set here at CEO.
looking so informed as always. It feels like he hasn't even been in danger of losing a set, right? Right. Yeah, so we're going to get our button checked. And I'm glad we are because, you know, you mentioned that this is a tale as old as time itself because these two are such prominent players in the EU and the world. But as a, an ignorant American, from my perspective, these are the two that really opened my eyes to mm. the European scene oh, in general. Yeah. Shanks and Wawa were two of the first players to the, really show me the capabilities and the skill level of that region. And I mean, there's so many incredible players that have followed in their footsteps. Like you said, the Kanes, the Yashas, the list that goes on and on from mm. Europe that has really shown out for Dragon Ball Fighters. Absolutely, Manly. These two definitely leading the pack, um, as we said earlier. And uh, you just showing that what a lot of the, the, the communities uh, over over there over here in um sorry over, over over in the European side, what can be done in this game? You know, like a lot of people don't even understand how Wawa got so good at this game. He doesn't live near anyone. He doesn't really <laughs> like to play online. He just laps and just figures stuff out. You know, anybody can get it. But yeah, like, as you said, right, the way he laughs, the amount of thinking that goes into every situation, like he considers every possible answer and answers that you wouldn't even fathom. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. That's why he's so good. And uh, you can improve like that if you're willing to take those links. Absolutely. He's definitely always putting in the work. And for him, the fun of the game is just learning new teams, learning new strategies and, uh, you know, just optimizing that. So we see that a lot here with this team that he's running. This is, this is his main team. And Wawa is a guy that will like to hop around the board, pick different teams, you know, mess around here and there, try different strategies. But this is the squad for him right now. The Gogeta 4, the Geo Trunks. Wawa finally settling on a team that he feels is extremely strong. And look where it's got him. Grand Finals winner's side at CEO. You're damn right, it is Grand Finals. Let me hear you crowd. We got Wawa versus Shanks. Let's get it. Come on, guys. Yes. Dragon Ball Fighters community pulling up out here to show some love. You love to see it. This is going to be such an exciting grand finals. I can't wait. Oh, my goodness. Two of the world's finest, two global presences in Dragon Ball Fighters. Inspirations to the players, inspirations to the fans. All Europe, all day here in grand finals. Wawa versus Shanks. Let the intros rock true anime style. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, Ooh. Thank you, crowd. Let's go. Oh, goosebumps, bro. Yeah, let's go. Allow me to show you a power you could never achieve. Talking that talk. Oh, my goodness. Letting him know. Let's go. Grand finals time. Well, well, Whoa. Player one, as you alluded to, Tyrant, he has the winner's side advantage. Only one set needed. Shane's got a whole lot of work ahead of him. Oh, yeah, this is going to be an uphill battle, but these two. Ooh, oh, my once goodness. Once again, the Wawa choices just seem to keep snowballing so effectively. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And he hasn't even used any assists here. This is going to be where he starts to spend them when he gets that pressure. But Shank spot realizes it and sparks up early. Yeah, Wawa is still holding on to these assists. It's kind of wild. Bro, oh, he didn't even wait till he landed on the floor. He challenged him in the air. Ridiculous now has the Vegito in. The pressure's gonna continue now, smothering this man. Oh, oh <laughs> instead. Bro! Shanks responding like I don't even know. There we go. Rolling crush knocked down. Oh, and he did get the half a bar, and he's gonna have that Janemba assist ready for this as well. Let's see what the pressure's gonna be after. Ooh, what's the mix gonna be? Oh, oh man. man! The Janemba plus the perfect attack. Wah wah, one character down. That's what he wants. He wants three and a half bars and one assist. That's all Shanks wants. Ooh. Oh, man. I love the low profile move right there, dodging the diss and then catching himself slipping. Yep. All right. Here we go. Nice stuff there, taking about. This is going to do about 70% off Shanks' life bar. It's going to be. Oh! Whoa. Just the fat, the fat crouch medium, but no, he actually missed time this combo. Yeah, went for the full auto combo as well, but Shanks with a lucky break. Janemba coming in. That could have been a finished sell, but okay, knocked down. And when Gogeta starts building up them levels, bro, you need to kill him. That is a big target on his back. Yeah, we've seen it. He's already pulled off a couple of instant kills in bracket. Yep. He's been willing to spin the spark to keep this pressure going here. Oh, does find Shanks, but he can't converse. It's too awkward of a hit. Oh, my goodness. Wawa's movement is just so scary. Oh my Wait goodness. a second! Somehow finds a combo. Trunks coming in. Both oh, of these no. Both are just so good at moving around the screen constantly. That's one way to shut that down. The CS is granting you a big dub. Yep, great stuff there using that level three as well. Got a little bit of extra damage on it with the level two build. 
Man, good calculation for Wawa. As oh. always, man, these two are professors of violence. Yeah, I don't want to hear nobody tell me that sea assists are not viable, bro. Like, come on. We got one out here, grand finals. Wawa doing work with that. And of course, it's Wawa, as you mentioned, man, the lab monster who will explore any and all options. For sure. Oh, the big punish there, yeah. That yeah. guard cancel was a bad one. And Shanks is going to take full advantage. He's going to get the bar here. Doesn't have an assist, but he might still... Okay, goes for the Jinen beats instead, where he can mix you solo. Where's he going to be? Left, right, range? Oh, good. Oh, oh, my God, <laughs> we thought it was behind the back, but Whoa. instead slaps him in the face with the tail and takes down Trunks. Oh, my goodness. You don't expect it. He's so plus. You're just like, okay, I have to block this. Oh, wait a second. I got opened up. Damn. Oh, you don't do that. You don't do that. Come on, man. This is Shanks. My man said, just bring it. That's fine with me. Yeah. Shanks in his face again. Oh, wake it up with buttons. Wah, wah. So oh. Wow. Opened up there by the overhead. Wawa gets the knockdown. Level three here. Might go for a vanish mix to take down that Janemba. Needs to get close somehow. Goes for the, the moon jump. Oh. Okay. Good with it right now. Oh, you see the movement from Shanks right there. Didn't want to commit to anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping his, his options open, you know. Oh, wait, 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 wait oh, the counter! How did Wawa think to do that? Nah, nah, nah. This guy's broken. He's broken. It's that simple. Knock, knock. Oh, Janemba fires back in Shanks. Is gonna take this one. Yeah. Okay. I, I get it. I get that Shanks won, bro. But that that answer at the end, I'm sick of this guy. Wall off. You know, <laughs> like, you see what I mean? Like he's just he's thinking of every possible option. You know, it's like it's like a wheel moving around in his head. And he's like, oh yeah, this one. I know what you're doing, like, and I got an answer for it too. The specific answers are wild. Like yeah. he's not only answering character nuances, but player nuances as well, right? Obviously, Janemba is a character pretty underutilized, but that is a specific situation Wawa constantly counters with that 2H, right? Shanks is looking to use that range on the 2H with the assist call, and he just counted it outright. Yeah, I feel like that, that's absolutely right, Range. Like, when it comes to Wawa, the situational awareness is just on another planet. It's, it's one of the things that really does bring him to, to this top echelon of players, but oh my goodness, drops his combo. Ooh. Shanks taking advantage now. Look at this. Base Vegeta going to work. Yeah, and Wawa, he sees he has a lot of belief in that auto combo from Gogeta. Look, as you can see, it does a great job at chasing down a lot of opponents, but it's got him hit a couple of times. Okay, here we go. Spirit Sword gets the throw knockdown now. Pressures. Okay, Shank sparks up here, realizing that, that Vegeta could be in danger. He's making the most of that spark time, just keeping that pressure on as much as he can. They, the assists, of course, will regenerate while he's in spark. So look at this. Goes low. Oh, yeah, and now we're, it's all Shank's game here. Has a five bars on deck. Oh, no. Oh, oh what a turnaround from Shanks. Okay. With the drop opportunity into the drop and select. Okay, <laughs> I see you. Gonna get the kill now. Baria. I forgot about the drop opportunities. That's oh, one of my favorites. <laughs> hell yeah, man. We got those. All right, Wawado. Looking to respond here. Plenty of meter on his side as well as the spark. Shanks not looking to stick his hand in the blender. We'll play neutral with his base Vegeta. I got assist the call as well. All right. Man, Wawa, pressure in away. Oh my goodness. Do you see how he keeps himself safe? Using yeah. Gogeta 4 in an almost Vegito style fashion, where, you know, if, if, even if his option is blocked, he can escape for free, use those EX moves to move around the board. And Shanks thought he would be able to counter that next option with the 2H, which got him killed, right? Wawa was able to whip punish afterwards. Both of these players just having such high speed answers, it cost them sometimes. No doubt. EX perfect attack here. Shanks is on fire right now. Let's not forget about that spark on Wawa's side, though. That could be the decision maker. Oh, no. He's just chilling. When is the Dragon Rush coming, bro? He's just chilling. Yeah. Oh, Whoa! Wawa you knew. You called it. Yeah. But Wawa knew as well. He heard you. You're on an open mic, remember? <laughs> you're right. You're right. Taking him down to the ground. Three bars. Oh, he's building up some levels. Just one, though. OK. Level one into the. OK, that was nice, because you get the, the corner. You get the corner with the level three. So now this is not only a high-low mix, it's a left-right one. Going to spend the EX. Stays oh, in front! Ridiculous once again. And you see why he didn't go for that in front, because you don't get that same mix whilst Trunks is out of the corner. He didn't build that one bar. He needed to finish him off, but still sell on life support now, but he's got control. That's it. Oh, my God. Staggering. Yo, 5M, 5M, 4M. Finally, Wawa betting on Shanks, cutting that pressure off a little bit early, but he got wrong. Okay, Gallic Gun, Janem beats. Okay, Wawa, you've got to believe that spark is coming. You've got to believe it's coming, guys. There it is. Oh, but still, he ended up blocking one normal again. Whoa, Gogeta 4 helping out there. Oh, yo, yo, you saw how Cell got smoked? Yeah. 
He's the leader from the existence, and now the scramble's working out for Wawa. Absolutely, gonna get this big combo extension. Shining Slash. Okay. And this is definitely, if you want to keep him in the corner, this is the option you want to go for. Ultra Big Bang coming, Hamehameha. Oh, got a block from Shanks. Yeah, what a block. Oh my goodness, all these jabs. My man looking like Mayweather out here. By God. <laughs> oh! I missed out the Dragon Rush. Rearing its ugly head for Wawa. That's it, Wawa. Keeping himself in this. Does not want Shanks to go 2-0 up in the first set of Grand Finals. Wants to take advantage of that winner's advantage. Oh, wow, look at that tech. Well aware of the defensive opportunities wow! and the two ways he knew he was presented that opportunity off the vanish. Cell in the grave. Yep, and he's gonna get the kill. No extra bar needed. Wawa with two characters now down to Shanks one, but base Vegeta solo, he can make this happen. Oh. These characters on Wawa's side are healthy. Nice, yeah. Wawa with the reactions just getting that little bit of extra damage. Stays in front with the jump S. Oh my goodness. So the way Wawa uses that. Is in, a, is in a similar way to like the way that Vegito uses the sword. You yeah, know, exactly. like it just stops him in midair. The projectile comes out in front using that follow up, the 236 H. Great stuff. And the better you are as an opponent, the better that mix up works. That's so true. You. That's like, so true. Your reactions are the reason that works is because people see them take to the ground, take to the sky and yep. think the cross up is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's absolutely true, Ringe. Like you, you use your opponent's reactions against them. They see they see you run and jump that close to you, they're immediately thinking cross up, but boom, you stop yourself with that jump S. Great play from Wawa. Man, and it really feels like just enough time to give those great players that that open up, right? It's like just enough time to get them to react to a cross up. That's it. Dead on. So here we go, Wawa and Shanks 1-1. One, one. Very even so far in this grand finals. Okay, here we go. Staggering the string here. The Dragon Rush. Wow, I was not ready for that one. Shanks. Gonna keep it very simple there. Yeah, I like that. Tournament combos. Yeah, especially since he has the Janemba assist. I was gonna what? say he gets the hit, but what? The convert, still gets another one. Yep. And I think that might just about do it here. Yep, knee bombs. drop. Gallic gun. Yeah, he's done. All the way through to the Maria. Maria. And now Cell. Yep, Cell in full control right here. But here comes Wawa, one of the characters that, you know, the, the, the French community definitely brought to, to the to the front of the uh, Dragon Ball Fighters community's minds yeah. with Vegito. 100% Wawa is a pioneer on this character, the entire French scene. Yeah. Really an expert at it. But now Shanks, he's fought it a lot too, right? So he's going to have some good defense and he's got the control right now. What a tech what a from tech. Wawa. Even though that Vegeta was there, look at that. The jump 236S conversion from Wawa, that was so good. Just clearing the screen with the sword normals. Yep, and it does so much chip as well. You can't chill all day. Oh my goodness, he sparked up. He wants to kill that Cell. I respect the man. We've seen the potency of Cell on point. With these two assists backing him, it feels like you can never escape the pressure. Yep, beautiful stuff, and it's going to be, yeah, that's dead for sure. The sword level one into the trunks level three, the damage on that is insane. My goodness, Cell on the bench. Yep, look at that, man. So much. Heat dome attack. Here we go. Wow, just dash up on him. Keeping it simple. Once again, Wawa with the neutral in control. Those are the three bars. Gonna bring Vegito back in. Splat him down with the sword. Yep, chilling. Look at oh that. You see how he's. Yeah. What? Wawa's movement and situational awareness is just, like we said earlier, it's another level. I, I, do, I don't think. I thought it was possible to stay in the air that long from that low of height. Like, straight up. Man was just floating like, around. Straight up. Yeah. Okay, Shanks now base Vegeta solo. Sparking is a factor, though. Let's see. All the two L for the low crush. Man, that button's so good. My goodness, Wawa bringing it back now. Yeah, bringing him down. Dash up on him, realizing that there's no point going for level three because the spark is in play. Yeah, I like that. The low. Oh, the C assist locks them down for so long. Shanks trying to escape. And right now, find one. right now it is all about wasting time on the clock range. It's all he wants to do. Yeah, and he might even go for the follow-up. Just to waste even more time. Yeah, waste that nope. sparking. Don't let him have it. Vanish makes up good block. Wow. What? Yo, sniped. Wow. Damn. Reflecting the 2S to stuff the air dash approach. 360 no scope, bro. Yeah. Man's making a montage out here. You were anti-air someone with a sniper shot? That's wild. 
Okay, here we go. Shanks now. Oh! Yo! Huh? Huh? Yo, that button's a meme, man. Like, 5L? <laughs> wow. Those legs be flying. Waking up with the 5L. Never scared. Wah, wah. Yep. Going for the option that you would least expect. You would never expect it. Yeah. Stuff the EX move on Wawasa or on Shanks' side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess Shanks was going for the, the cross up, you know, and this could be it, guys. That is it. Tournament point right now for Wawa. He just needs one more, and that CEO title is his. But Shanks says that is not going to happen. Great round start. I can't believe both these players feeling so froggy. The round star clash. Oh, look at that chase down with the 2S. So good. Oh, man. That B assist from Cell really been doing work for Shanks. Yeah, but now Shanks is going to have a grand opportunity here to kill off this Gogeta. He's got Janemesis in the back. He needs one more mix. Oh, but the wow. DP. Yeah, misses the follow-up, though, unfortunate. But here we go. And nice conversion. Already used the double jump. And he's going to get the knockdown here off the 236M. Spirit Sword. Whoa. Scrambly, but doesn't get killed by the 2 He Just jump out of the Dragon Rush and just takes his face. Yeah, and there you go. The space control monster. That is Vegito. Look at this. This character's buttons are insane. Yeah, the stagger pressure, ridiculous. You'll explode if you get hit by any of these normals. Ah. Nice from Shanks. Yeah, the Invincible says, get off me. Do not be staggering these strings. I've got an Invincible move. Don't forget about that. Oh, what happened there? Whoa! Rock caught the 2L! Shanks now, plenty of meter here. He's gonna be looking to take control of this set. That's right. Oh, there we go. Oh, the spark up. He did block it, but again, they're respecting the Vegeta pressure afterwards. Yep, a bit more at liberty to use your spark once the opponent has spent theirs. I respect it. Okay. Goes behind now. Shanks with that sparking movement. Yeah, exactly. An unorthodox mix-up. You don't see that because it's sparking exclusive. And Vegeta, he basically one that usually brings so many different options to the table. Yeah, and straight into Cell for that damage in level three. Not enough to kill, though. Shanks gets the Dragon Rush. Wawa's Vegito goes down. Ballsy move right there to go with the jump light into the Dragon Rush, considering how frequently Wawa has woken up with buttons. What? The 2S and the assist working out. Huge stuff there. Shanks now in full control. Most Look. definitely. Zero bars. Can't quite get that first one, but still. Oh, oh what? He got two. He got two. He got two. Janemba's there. Wait a minute. You see how he jumped back for the extension? Yeah. He's going to bring in Janemba, of course. Yo, oh, the Invincible oh. jump 2H! It's Invincible! The Shadow buff working out for Shanks! Both of these players are so ridiculously good! Nah, come on, that was oh, outstanding! My oh my goodness, Shanks with the awareness! you got to be kidding me with this! Yo. Basic advantage, your advantage to keep the advantage! Yo, Arc System forgot to tell the player base about that one. Look at the Conveniently. Jump 2H again! Okay, here we go. Straight into Vegeta, Gallic Gun into the barrier. Wawa in trouble, that trunk solo. Can he make something happen right now? He's got five bars. He wants to slide in, he's not even using the bar. Whoa! Gets, gets away from the perfect attack and a perfect whiff punish. He nearly got two. He did. Again? Oh, and there you go for the side swap. Look how Trunks is in the corner for this devastating side switch mix. He's gonna spend half a bar to get it. Is it left or right? Oh my Ooh, goodness, what a block. He does block in front this time. Wawa trying to go Ooh. back to the well. He got the hit! No follow up. What's going on? Shanks now with a chance at life. This is not as desperate oh. a situation for Wawa as it may seem. Oh my goodness. Stagger in the string here. 4M, 4M. Again, look at the Wawa defending. He's chilling, he's chilling. In the corner, the Dragon Rush from Shanks! What a decision from Shanks to go with the Dragon Rush in that instance. Scary situation, but Wawa was caught up thinking about the side switch so heavy that the Dragon Rush caught him. Wow, we are going down. It's 2-2 two, two right now. Grand Finals first set. This could go either way. This is the type of set that literally drains you physically, not even just mentally and emotionally. That's why these players are replenishing themselves. Oh right yeah, now. they're rehydrating, oh, bro. Tyrant was rehydrating. I, right uh, bro, I tell you what, he's taking it out of all of us. I had to take a sip. <laughs> I can't lie. This mm. set definitely taking out of us, all of us in the room right now. Wow. Man, this has been. Such a back and forth set. Where is it going to go? Two to two right two now. Two to two. Both players just need one more star to end that set. But of course, for Wawa, that means a CEO championship on his mantle. For Shanks, that means you got to do it one more time. Fam. Absolutely. You got to go back 
to, oh, wait a minute. Oh. Going with Team Yasha. The 17. He's going with Team Yasha. The O's and R's, his French brethren. Yep, double blue Being fusions. Harnessed. Double blue fusions, 17. This team is so good. The synergy is out of control. But Wawa perhaps taking a risk here. Yes, he is. He's got it set up, but I like him. He's like, one game? You got one game? And let's not forget, he's switching to two characters he's not been playing. This whole top eight. Fair enough. You fair know, enough. it's Gogeta. Gogeta Blue and Android 17. These are these are two characters that, you, um, I mean, switching to them after playing uh, a different team the entire way it might be rough. But Wawa can do it. Gets a hit. Those Shanks does. And look at this start for him. Yeah, clean whiff punish. We already going to be in the corner here. It covers the back tech as well. Okay. Oh, the triple overhead. Oh it was a triple overhead. Not nah, used to seeing that. Thought he could finally block low, but no, sir. Look at that play from Shanks right now in full control. Not going to be able to kill this Gogeta, but he will put him in a guess for the character scenario. Spark from Wawa perhaps on the way. Wawa, the oh DP! The confidence in the defense, not just from the spark. Gets the DP, now it is Wawa's turn to take control. Yep, that's right. And he's definitely going to switch out that Gogeta blue. DR knocked down, Vegito in now. Switching the dance for the Potara fusion. Oh, okay, the pressure now. Oh, look at that. No, oh, my goodness, the DR. He just showed him so much offense, started suffocating him in the corner and brings out the Dragon Rush. Yep, and he's going to extend here. Look at the synergy between these two. Look at this. The damage just keeps on going. Janemba after that. What an incredible start from Shanks, but he's going to lose one of his signature characters. Oh, he is indeed. Look at the damage this team does. It is out of this world. Yeah. So much. This team, you don't got to ask if it's going to kill. This one won't be on Will It Kill. Yep. No, gonna no get way. Smoked every time. Not with this team. Oh, he did dash up, dash up counter attempt. Are you kidding me? And then the Android 17 to cover it. Yeah, Beat man. Him into it. Stop. Wawa is ridiculous. I'm, I'm telling you, this team is mad cheap. Wawa wants that belt and he wants it right now. Oh, Are you? God. No way. There's no way. That was ridiculous. Are you kidding me? He what? outspace 6M to bait out the spark <laughs> and the punish with the assist. This man is on a different planet. Nah, that was that was that was cheap. That was insane. Wawa with the play, the sparking bait of the century. No way. That was why I cannot believe he did that to him. And then he that. Nah, it's done, son. The lightning is coming out of his eyes. You don't got a chance, I'm sorry to say. Nah, 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 nah. Wawa, just when you think he's reached his final form, he shows us something new. And look at the damage. Gogeta into the Spirit Sword. Wawa on the verge of taking this. Just one more character for him to defeat. Five bars on the side of Shanks. It's looking long for sure. Bro. Wawa, the way Yo! He's no way! The again, it's not your turn. Wawa looking unstoppable right here. Okay, gonna get the DR knockdown. Wawa, let's see what he goes for. Safe jump, Shanks in trouble. If he gets the hit, it's Spark. Most definitely, it is gonna be a dead base Vegeta, but now Shanks trying to climb this Mount Everest size obstacle. Oh man, Shinai! Okay, this is his chance. Wawa though with the Spark available, might just block it out though. Does Spark up, he wants this now. Yeah. Wants to now, wants to maintain the full synergy Whoa. of the team. Ooh, keeping himself safe, holding on that vanish. Okay, staggering the string here. Shanks, that spark is out of play. There is no more spark for the rest of this match. Shanks looking to get the hit if he can. But Wawa, he went for the 2L, covered by the Andrew 17. Great tech. From Shanks, he ended up stuffing it somehow. Look at this. He's keeping it safe. Oh my goodness! Is that going to do it, Rinch? Has Wawa done it? He just needs to complete the combo here. Gets the Dragon Rush. Take it away, Tyrant. There you have it, guys. Wawa is your CEO 2022 champion. Incredible play from the Wonder Man. He used to be the kid, but this man has grown before our very eyes. I talked about his shakiness in tournament. You can see that he's overcome that. The mental fortitude matches the incredible execution. And this man is one of the, if not the, best Dragon Ball Fighters player on the planet. Man.
It's kind of hard to argue with it when you see results like that. What a run Wawa had, and you can see it right there. These yeah. two really hold it down for the European scene. You know it means a lot for them to just be up here against each other in the grand finals of a major, the caliber of CEO. Man, that was such a great grand finals. And Wawa, you could see it. When it went 2-2, he was like, okay, I got something for you, bro. We're going cheap right here. It was so smart, man. Like. When it's 2-2 and you bring out the one game team, the one game strat that can just explode you yeah, up, yeah, yeah. incredible damage, that means there's new mix-ups that you have to deal with. You've been so used to seeing certain things and that just throws everything off completely. And that's one of the luxuries that Wawa's work, the work that he puts in, allows him to do. It's not just talent. It's not just uh, luck or anything like that. It is the work, as you said, because he goes through the entire roster, because he knows how to play all these characters. That's so true, man. That means he gets to do something like this on the biggest stage possible. Absolutely, man. And that was just such a great tournament run for him. He saw Shanks was doing work in the loser side all the way through. He went all the way through, but Wawa was just waiting there. And he has not lost a set this entire tournament. He did not drop down to the loser's bracket. Shanks made it close. Yeah, but it did. wasn't enough. He did. Oh, man. Incredible stuff. And big ups to the EU once again. Thank you for coming out to CEO 2022. Yeah. Honestly, the international competition is really what takes tournaments to the next level and truly makes them special. So all European Grand Finals, I applaud that because this region is ridiculous. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. They are, they are here to play. And it's looking serious, man, Like over there. Like, they are putting in the work right now. And it, it, now, you know, it's to be seen. What, what the future of the game uh, holds. You know, we don't know about the, the patch, what that's going to include, but we do know it's going to be uh, ready in time for EVO. So we just have to wait now and see what happens. Um, but man, that was such a great top yeah. eight for Dragon Ball Fighters. That was really, really cool. It was awesome for sure. We got a little bit of everything. We got international flair. We got USA versus the world. We got different generations of fighting game uh, player, including Dragon Ball Fighters, different generations, right? We had the Wawas. We had the Hook Game Gods. We had the Garlic Breads. Oh, we had man. the Shanks. Like, it was just cool. It was, like, really encapsulated uh, almost the entirety of Dragon Ball Fighter's lifespan. Yeah, man. That was awesome. Like, really, really exciting stuff. You love to see it. Um, but, man, it was good to have you up here for Dragon Ball again, man. That was a lot of fun. Like, know, yeah, man. Like, come on. That was cool. We got to do that again sometime. That was an absolute blast. And I uh, thank all you guys at home for tuning in for this one. Thank everybody here in the arena for showing their love for the, for the Dragon Fights community, raising the arms for the Spirit Bomb. You know, you love to see it. Um, it was an exciting, exciting tournament. Um, but we are going to have those awards coming up uh, for you very, very shortly, guys. We're going to be seeing the champion be crowned. Indeed, indeed. I know all of our players are gathering on the stage right now. I don't think we're tossing it to them just yet, but we are making sure they get lined up and prepared to receive their awards. Of course, Wawa is going to be receiving that championship belt. Ooh. Something that, you know, me and you specifically are very big fans of. Oh, hell yeah. I want to <laughs> see that title belt, bro. I want to see it. Wawa well, got the big push, bro. He went to the moon. <laughs> yeah, as they should. You got to strap the rocket to that man for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely big ups to Wawa taking first place. But all of our competitors, not only in our top eight, but the entirety of the Dragon Ball fighters here at CEO, man. It wouldn't be what it is without the players. They're the ones that are out here showing it, giving y'all the entertainment. We feel privileged to commentate this amazing play. So, I mean, just thank you to everybody, honestly. Yeah. Shouts to Jabeli and the team for really seeing, you know, what the community's best interests were. Yes. Uh, with, in, terms, in terms of the character ban for Labco 21, you're realizing that that is, you know, maybe not, not, the, not the greatest uh, look for the community and for the, for the event. But, you know, I, I respect it. You know, like uh, coming out here and just saying, OK, then, well, you guys can play the tournament. That character's not allowed this time. Yeah. M you know, in, maybe in the future when we see what, 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 the, what the patch has, yeah. um, we can see. But yeah, that was that was really cool of Jabali and the team for holding it down. Yeah, and it's like, it's this is not a small tournament. You know what I mean? This is a big Major. tournament to put your foot down and be like, nah, we're going to try this change. And I think it went well. So definitely big ups. I mean, I know I had a hell of a time in top eight. It seems like all the players had a good time. And now we are going to get to crowning our amazing warriors here. Let's take it to the stage for our award ceremony. It's such a fantastic top eight for Dragon Ball Fighters. Did you have a good time? What a fantastic bracket. What a fantastic tournament. And what fantastic competitors. And we're going to award them right now. And we're going to start here with the cell representative, Perfection, in seventh place. Tied for seventh place, we have a Vegeta master as well. One of the best in the East. Kite! Right here, my boy, Garlic Bread from SoCal. He showed you some of the sauciest combos of the night. Garlic Bread, fifth place! All of Europe showing up strong this tournament, and in fifth place as well, we have 
春日In fourth place, you know him, you love him. He had the Mickey and not all the mouse. Fourth place, <laughs> who gang God! In third place, one of the best players in New York and the best showing from America this tournament. Rise Nitro! With some of the best reactions that I've seen in this top eight, and the sickest Janemba, that J2H made me lose my mind. Second place, El Padre Shanks! And you know, this kind of follows the script. I think everybody predicted that Wawa was gonna do well in this tournament, but the way that he played and dismantled the competition, Wawa, you earn this one. It's not only a medal, it's a belt. And you're definitely the champ. CEO champion, first place, Dragon Ball Fighters. Wah, wah! Show them what you got. He's got Michael Mouse. All right, everybody. Show us that belt, wah, wah. Above your head, hoist it. You earned this. <laughs> Woo! All right, everybody, we're gonna send you back to Rinjin Tyrant to close us out for this top eight for Dragon Ball Fighters. Thank you so much for watching. We've got even more action on the CEO Gaming stream, and they're gonna take us away. Thank you, guys. And thank you to Jake Ryan for the amazing MC skills as well. It was a good time all around for sure. Absolutely, really, really exciting stuff, man. That title belt looking clean. Oh, very nice. Crisp, crisp, you'd love to see it. But man, we are not done here on no. twitch.tv slash CEO gaming. Definitely not. We got lots of action coming up very, very soon.